Hello, you beautiful people of the internet! Uh, did you miss me? Because I missed you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Fontaine Archon Quest Part 3. Part 1 and 2 were absolutely phenomenal. Dare I say one of the best intros to a region we have got to date. A little bit of recap where we left off. Child is in jail. And uh, that's all that matters. <laughs> uh, but needless to say, the writing in Fontaine, the music... The character design, the story has been phenomenal so far. It has been some of the best writing in Genshin to date. And I expect them to keep the same tone going into this Archon Quest. So without further ado, I am so excited to the stars shining in the depths. Look at this art. Hello. Oh my gosh. The prophecy lies heavy on the hearts of the people who witnessed the marvels of the deeps in silence. A disaster or a miracle? In the moment it seized its destiny, the star fell quietly from its lofty perch. All right, let's do this thing. We're going into the hotel, boys. We're going into the hotel. Into the underground. Uh, going to take a nap with my uh, friend Navia. Mm -hmm. We get to say hello. Maybe have another dinner date. Oh. Yep, it's the room. And it's empty and waiting for us, as promised. Such a good person. Traveler actually getting accommodations, poggers? Hmm. Now that the serial disappearances case has been solved, no one's going to come after us for anything. Uh oh. Even without Silver standing guard, we can just completely relax. And and the next sentence we're going to prison, aren't we? <laughs> Why don't we stay and rest up here for a while? Even machines in Fontaine need to stop and recharge now and then. If we wanted to rest. Can we pick somewhere with a decent view? Yo, traveler, don't wait. Listen, respect Navia's hospitality. Oh, come on. This place isn't that bad. Besides, how often do we get to stay in an actual base? The, the truth, Paimon. Oh, fine, fine. Remember that detective story Paimon read before? Well, the author is about to release a new book, so Paimon wanted to buy it as soon as it came out and have a quiet place to read it. Fair enough. Just don't spoil the ending for me this time. Then it's agreed. Come on, let's get some sleep. We'll need to be up first thing in the morning to get in line <laughs> This is like me watching the Jujutsu Kaisen anime. Uh, Paimon's voice is amplified so much with the echo down here. <laughs> she is so loud. You and Paimon relax for a while at the spin of the little run. I didn't want to read that anyway. Novel, Don't spoil it. Also like a social documentary. Oh, it's actually pretty good. That actually sounds pretty good. You just finished it? Uh, no. Paimon just spends a bit more time sleeping than you, that's all. Excuse me, but do you know if the Traveler and Paimon are lodging here? Huh? Who are you? Paimon doesn't recall seeing you before. Wait. You're not here to give us trouble, are you? A blonde traveler and a chatty little fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I found the place. That is the most kind Good thing, thing Paimon has been described show. as. They sent me the right way. Hey, what do you mean by chatty? Paimon's always careful not to talk too much. Most of the time, anyway. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you both. I was sent from the Palais Mermonia. Monsieur Nurilat wishes to see you. It seems he has something important to discuss in person. Let's go. <clears throat> I'm not busy. Nivellet? We can see him, I guess. Us again already? Huh. We talked so much the last time we met. Has something happened since then? We can see him, sure. Sure. Not I guess. Details. It would be best if he came to the Palais Marmonia and asked Monsieur Nervillet in person. Mm, if you say so, but. Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Time to get arrested. <sighs> now that I've delivered the message, Time to get arrested. I'll take my leave. All right. Peace out. Thanks. We haven't left the room for a few days, so we'll head over once we've freshened up a bit. Once we've freshened... We haven't left the room for a few days. Were we just binge reading a manga, man? All right. Okay. You know, Traveler getting some deserved time off. We love to see it. Re reading the Berserk novel? Maybe the Jujutsu Kaisen manga? Hello, Monsieur Nouvellet! 
Chat, we're either going to get arrested or what if it just hops right into Arlequino being here? Oh my gosh. I would... I would bust a gasket in my brain. <clears throat> Hello, Nouvellet. <clears throat> Nouvellet, I've been waiting for our sweet reunion. No, too much. Uh, Hi, howdy. Howdy, partner. No, okay, too, too casual. <clears throat> Oh, the music! Nubilet, we're here! Did you want to see us about something? This is about child? Uh, huh? Why were you just standing there? You daydreaming or thinking something over? He's planning to get us arrested. Yes, I did send someone to fetch you. But as for what I'd like to discuss next... Well, I still have some reservations. Oh! Oh my gosh, I love Nuvalet's character, his dialogue, his demeanor so much, chat. I'm such a, I'm such a fan. Given that we've already made the trip here, you should just tell us. Bet you need us to help you with something, right? <laughs> Look at Paimon's face. I do indeed have something I'd like to ask you to do. Well, he's however, got cake. You should wait until after I tell you the details, then decide for yourselves whether you'd like to help or not. The situation is this. Dude, Nuvalet's eyes are so... Sick. I could look into it those for It has come them. to my attention that the Snezhnayan harbinger known as the Knave wants a diplomatic meeting with you, correct? Dang! Here we go, boys! I heard that she was originally from Fontaine, but for her to suddenly arrive here and abruptly request such a meeting like this, I sincerely advise you to refuse her invitation outright. Interesting. That could be wise. Mm. Oh, and a little bit of Farina dialogue? I'm sure you're aware that her purpose is most likely related to Child's recent predicament. Chat, I'm so happy that the pacing of this, we're just immediately jumping into the scene with these two. We convicted one of the Snezhnayan Harbingers in a court of law, but we have yet to provide any form of detailed report on the matter. This does indeed provide an opportunity for Snezhnaya to put pressure on us. I believe we should adopt an evasive stance until we can provide a proper explanation and have a preliminary plan on how to deal with the matter. Hmm. Get a game plan? No, we shouldn't. I think we should agree to the meeting. Okay, is she being naive or is she being wise? Oh. Well, you see, we are the ones that owe an explanation. She's basically. If we keep putting off the meeting, it could easily result in the problem escalating, right? That doesn't sound bad. It's like, like a fight between two friends. If they don't agree to see each other and talk in person, isn't it possible that the friendship could end entirely? I mean, that's true. Though diplomatic relations between Fontaine and Snezhnaya could be considered as friendly, it is only superficially so. You wouldn't go so far as to say that our nations are friends. That's not what she means. <laughs> example. It was just an analogy. An analogy, okay? She's more relaxed. Moreover, even if we were to talk She's in more person, serious. If we don't have sufficient information prepared, it is quite possible the result wouldn't be restored relations, but a complete falling out. That's a good point. Hmm. I don't think we should overthink those possibilities yet. <clears throat> even if the logic of the divine is not immediately apparent, its wisdom will only be revealed with time. Okay, Nouvellet, this is where we ask Farina. Yo, what's going on with the Oratress? My my Archon, Mademoiselle? What, can you explain? Besides, you'll be at the meeting. If any problems do pop up, you'll have no problem navigating them. I must clarify Bringing in the muscle! Communicating with people outside of court is not my cup of tea. It seems you think too much of me. But more importantly, when did I agree to join <laughs> a meeting with you? <laughs> you mean you won't come? No, 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 that, that won't do. I can't go to the meeting alone. You have to accompany me. I must take you with me. <laughs> She's freaking out. Dude, those slides, the animations on her face. Lady Farina. Also the music. Could there be something else regarding this matter that is being kept from me? No, not at all. <laughs> Look, I am the Hydra Yo, she can teleport. Fontaine, Fusilor, the god 
of justice who is loved and adored by many. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this scene. Her quick cuts and animations, how she like, she was being a little calm and reasonable and then flips the switch into full Farina mode. Is it Farina or Farina, chat? So I only hope that justice will be served in the Farina, matter. right? Don't overthink it. I'll go find someone to arrange the meeting. <sighs> He's going. The time for the meeting with the knave, the Lady Farina insists upon arrives. Though it could officially be considered Here a diplomatic go. conference, I prefer to see our meeting today as an ordinary tea party. Oh, shoot! Ladies and gentlemen, the name! Oh, is he going to do that? I assume you There's see There's the pyrovision. Way, Miss Farina? I am so, I'm so excited. I'm going to freak out, chat. If I pop a blood vessel, I might need to pause stream. Lady Farina? Uh, oh, <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Just like you said, a tea party. <laughs> I should thank you for providing the pastries. They look delectable. That looks really good, but that was also the cake that was on Nouvellet's desk. To make this tea party even more lively, I've invited someone else to join us today. Nouvellet? It's a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Nouvellet. I was born in Fontaine, so naturally, there is no need to introduce the nation's revered Udex to me. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with how they're... Uh, I'm so excited. Hello, the pleasure is also mine. First, I would like to thank the two of you. I'm often away on business outside of Fontaine, and I'm told that the children of the House of the Hearth have been well taken care of by you. Aww. Dude, she looks so good, too. Uh... Oh, or was that a diss because they went to court? Oh, I'm not referring to when my children, Linny and Lynette, were falsely accused by you. Please don't misunderstand. The children of the House of the Hearth are often misunderstood, perhaps due to the reputation of the Fatui. There's no getting around that. All I meant to say is that Fontaine She's calling has been her out. stable in recent years. The people are well off and the children lead happy, fulfilled lives. Is she gonna do her design looks so good, that chat? Is something truly worth cherishing. And no one wishes to disrupt such peace. Yo, she's kinda threatening Farina. Farina. Now then, you have come regarding the matter of child, correct? I thought this was a tea party, man. Talk about the weather or something. Well, yes. When was the last time you cried, Nouvellet? It appears the ever-busy Udex Nouvellet doesn't wish to waste time with diplomatic pleasantries and hopes that we can get straight to the point of our talk. She looks so good. Yes, as you surmised. Understanding child's situation is indeed one of the goals of this trip. As we are both diplomats from Snezhnaya, as well as Fatui Harbingers, Child and I have always been Ooh. colleagues. Were anything to happen in Fontaine, each of us would serve as the other's attorney to resolve the issue. She's going lawyer mode. So now, in my capacity as his attorney, I request that child be turned over to Snezhnaya. Oh, We mm -mm. have a responsibility to cooperate with Fontaine and resolve what has happened to him together. That child is never coming back if he gets sent to Snezhnaya. He's, he's free. The rules governing attorneys only apply before a trial has concluded. Since a verdict has already been rendered, we see the case as settled. I apologize for being unable to grant your request. The tensions are rising, boys. An outright refusal. Very well. I respect all the rules of Fontaine's courts, just as I respect you as Chief Justice. I can't tell if she's kind of being honest or being very, like, underhanded. Okay. Why don't we back up a step? You don't need to transfer child to us. I only request to enter the fortress of Meripede to see child and confirm his condition. The second she does, child is getting busted out of there. They know that too. It's not like you couldn't even manage to fulfill a simple request like that. Right, Miss Farina? Uh, Dude, um, the music. Um, about that. The fortress of Meropede has always been completely autonomous. Even we have no authority to interfere there, and diplomatic issues do not suffice as an excuse. Interesting. It's fully automated. AI. 
So they're gonna use us to go to prison? Yo, why- why bring me into this? However, if you absolutely must confirm the situation of the Harbinger, I have a proposal. Traveler is very experienced in going to jail. Wish. Well, Linny did say that father will be returning soon. I can't believe this guy's want to lock us up. He's probably like to Arlecchino. He's probably like, you know, I know someone who has a lot of experience in prison, does quite well, and knows child. He's a he's a regular. The traveler. We didn't even know that Lenny was from the House of the Hearth at the time, so we kind of overlooked that information. Please be careful, Nouvellet. The knave won't be easy to deal with. Yes, thank you for your kind advice. I'm well aware of the situation. Okay, well, should be nice. I also noticed that Lady Farina acts a little odd and unnatural whenever I bring up matters related to the Knave. Yeah, she... Did you see how she was deferring every single decision to Nouvellet? Could the Knave be threatening Lady Farina or something? If that were the case, then why wouldn't Lady Farina inform me? And what means could the Knave possibly have to twist the arm of an Archon? Even though Farina can act a little weird at times, she's still an Archon. In reality, this problem is even more thorny than it appears. According to reports from the Fortress of Meropede, Child recently disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Did he escape? The details are still unclear. We cannot rule out an escape, but there have also been no reports of him outside of the fortress. Would he get sucked into the abyss? Oh no, Charles! Special guards oversee the fortress, and its internal systems are extensive. Combined with the special characteristics of the surrounding terrain, an escape should not be possible. I suspect that there's something else behind Child's disappearance. Hmm. I was only willing to share this information with you because you are friends of Child, and it is my duty to see justice done. Well, we're more like, okay, like we're pleasant with Child. So this is what you wanted to see us about before. I want to root for Child and us being friends with him, but we also have to remember this man is like a, like a stone-cold serial murderer. Yes. I would like you to go to the Fortress of Meropede and investigate Child's disappearance. But hopefully we can get him to turn a new leaf. This was my proposal during our meeting with the Knave. Rather than allowing her to intervene, I offered to send someone to find out about Child's situation and report back to her in detail. The Knave did not seem satisfied by my proposal, but she still agreed to go along with it for the time being. Her words were, We will talk more once we have that report. Nouvellet, what happened to your nose? So that means we bought ourselves some time! But why do you want us to go? It would be more convenient to have an official from Fontaine Firstly, do this. you're already acquainted with Child. Your eyes may discern relevant details there that others would miss. That's true. We have his vision, and too. Secondly, is the consideration of the unique nature of the Fortress of Meripede. Isn't it just Fontaine's prison? Does it disable visions? I would not define it so crudely. The Fortress of Meripede is not affiliated with the court system Who made of Fontaine it? on paper. It has always existed as an autonomous entity. Early in Fontaine's history, criminals were punished with exile, not imprisonment. Mm. Even today... Sentences against convicted criminals still include exile, just as before. Man, this shot looks- these shots look so good. The Fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. I actually am so happy that it's turning out like this, chat. Instead All of like another do domain, it's like a city of exiles. Maintain security, but we have no right to get involved with any other matters. Although I do have a personal relationship with the administrator there, Neither myself nor <gasps> Risley! the have the right to be directly involved with the investigation, no matter how serious the grounds. Oh, Paimon gets it now. That's why you need us to conduct our own investigation as a third party, right? Correct. I will arrange false charges against Yo, wait, you so up. that you may secretly hold investigate up. inside the fortress during your detention. This will save us a lot of unnecessary trouble. So, are you two willing to accept my proposal? Well, since you're in a tough spot. Well, since Child is our friend, after all. When did we take that step? When did... When in the story, it just kind of happened. Since you're in a, such a tough spot. Mmm... Sure. Yeah. No matter how you look at it, it seems we're the best choice. This is going on a criminal record, right. boys. We hereby accept this difficult task. Uh... Reluctantly. 
Fair, you too have my sincere thanks. This matter is of critical importance to Fontaine's current situation. Also, I hope that both of you can keep this operation a secret. We'll, we'll do, rendezvous sir. rendezvous at the Fortress of Meropede's entrance on Erinaeus once you've prepared yourselves. I will arrange for someone to take you inside. Thank you. Prepared ourselves? Uh, is there something we need to prepare? Do I have to hide a toothbrush on me? Perhaps you could enjoy a good meal and have a nice bath. I'm afraid that living conditions inside the fortress are nothing like those on the outside. Wait, how, how are we getting out? Oh, right. New light. I feel like this is an important part of the plan. We'll be in prison for real. Hey, um, um. Uh, on second thought, is it too late to back out? You didn't even consider the fact we'd be prisoners? We already agreed, Paimon, just... Please do not worry. Since you are sacrificing both your time and quality of life for the sake of delivering this report... I'll give you a free ten pole? You will be compensated according to the highest standards permitted to legal staff. Twenty pole? Regardless of the outcome. Now that's more like it! Come on, traveler! Let's go eat the best meal we can find! We'll eat so much that we won't need to eat another meal for a whole month! Your treat! Your treat! Are you leaving now? In that case, please take this cake as a token of my personal gratitude. Oh, we'll take your cake, all right, Nuvala. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Control yourself. Uh, can you come to dinner with us, sir? Please? Please? <laughs> Why does Chun Yun's head look so much bigger than Nuvala's? Oh, no need to thank me for it. Just be sure to enjoy it. Thank you. I love you. I'll be back after prison. Go to Chef Lucerne. In the same building? Oh. Lol? To the cafe! We'll get a nice cup of coffee. We'll fill our tummies chat with food to spare. What would everyone have as their last meal before prison? I'm having some crab ragoons. You bet your butt cheeks. I'm having a full plate of crab ragoons. Some sushi. Krispy Kreme and donuts. That, and that? Oh, and one of those two? Ooh, and no Fanta. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no Fanta. Last time we, it was a very bad experience. You just ordered a lot. That cake was pretty good. But as soon as Paimon remembered that we we're about to go to prison, Paimon's stomach suddenly became completely empty. <laughs> well, luckily for you, Paimon, I can carry a world's worth of resources in my pocket, so we should be good on food. Now that Paimon thinks in my about magical it, pockets. I've been super careful ever since we arrived in Fontaine. Just to avoid breaking any strange laws here. But here we are, about to willingly send ourselves off to the fortress of Meropede. Hmm. Maybe this is what they call fate. <laughs> that we go to prison in every country? Maybe you're onto something, Paimon. Uh, let's just try our best to investigate everything quickly once we get there. Paimon doesn't want to stay in prison too long. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, we didn't hash out how we're getting out of prison. I feel like that's an important detail that we should have established before agreeing to this. Oh. Oh, what is that <laughs> out here? Is it the taste of a breaking story? Charlotte, why is everyone teleporting all of a sudden? Hey, you can't hear a taste. And what are you doing here, Charlotte? You can't hear a taste. Oh, don't remind me. I invited an eyewitness to a case to eat here, and I was planning to get some great material out of him, but he didn't even show up. Oh, I love that you can hear the little Fontaine music in the background. Ah, oh, calm down, calm down. This is nothing new. As a journalist, you should be used to this by now. And as long as you can score some juicy tidbits from the traveler, <laughs> you might still be able to recover the cost of the meal. <laughs> I love Charlotte so much. She looks great, too, chat. Uh, you know we can still hear you, Charlotte. <laughs> uh, never mind. It's nothing. I just heard you mention the Fortress of Meripede. You didn't commit a crime, did you? Girl! Please tell me all about it. Buy me a coffee first. No way! We would never! We're just going there to... a chew. <laughs> um, to go to you... go to prison. Oh no, Paimon almost forgot that Nervalet told us to keep it a secret. We're going to serve our sentences and redeem ourselves. We're spoiling the ending of a detective novel in public. Huh? You're being arrested for <laughs> that? Oh, but now that I think about it, I suppose that's not completely unreasonable. So what happens when you leak, man? 
almost as offensive as committing theft. <laughs> That's how I feel when I see someone spoil like an like Jujutsu Kaisen or something in like a thumbnail. You mean Paima really did something that serious? See, I told you, Paimon. Sorry, Paima really messed up. Oh no! Uh, well, in that case, it's nothing particularly newsworthy after all. Oh, how disappointing. It's okay. All right, there's still a chance. Uh, since you're going to be at the Fortress of Meripede, would you be willing to help me gather some material for a story? We can interview some people uh, about that. for a price. Uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have any time. No, it's nothing difficult. All you have to do is think of a way to get some time face to face with the Warden of the Fortress. Risley! He was awarded the honorary title of Duke in Fontaine. Sounds really cool, Oh, my cool, allergies. Huh? Only those who have made significant contributions to the nation have been conferred this title. It's incredibly rare. On top of that, the Fortress of Meripede has That's never cool. been under the jurisdiction of the courts. Practically nobody, including journalists Who like made me, it? The scientists? about the person in charge there. Oh, if I could write an exclusive article about him... I guess we'll figure it out. sell a boatload of papers. You make it sound easy, but... I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. So this meal is on me. Oh, Charlotte. Oh, girl, you've made a tactical error. All right, you got a deal. You're... We'll do anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> then it's settled. The food should be here any second, right? Huh? <laughs> Wait, just how much did you order? <laughs> You're going to have to get a second mortgage on that house, my guy. Yo, Charlotte does not know five on, man. Charlotte gonna have to write a lot of. I had no idea you could eat so much. That didn't go according to plan. Please, please don't forget about the material for my news article. We got you, Charlotte. We got you. We got you, girl. To prison we go. Dilly dilly. Oh shoot. Is this? Dude, are we gonna? Are we going to the edge of the guillotine to go to prison? I'm a little... Oh. Can we talk about our escape plan with Nouvellet before we do this? I wonder who made the Fortress of Metropide. Was it the previous Hydro Archon? Or was it... I guess it makes sense that in the back of the court is where they send people away. Uh-oh, chat. Let them eat cake. It's Marie Antoinette time. Oh, this looks so sick. Looks like Duel of the Fates is about to start playing. Oh, no. Yo, what's up, homie? What's up, Nuvi Doovi? All right, Nuvilek. We're ready. Is this where the entrance is? You have come just as promised. Those yes, lines are so cool. This is the one and only entrance to the fortress of Meripede from Erinaeus. Is he, are you about to chop my head off, man? Careful. You may want to step back a bit. Is it? it are we? Are you about to take me to the afterlife? Whoa! So you have to go down from here? Is the prison underwater? Utilizing both the barrier of the water what? as well as the fear humans have of the depths. The fortress of Meripede is naturally the perfect place to confine and guard criminals. But do not worry. It is not nearly as frightening inside as you may think. Thank you. You will see for yourselves once you are down there. Do they have donuts? Uh, Paimon hopes Maybe a slide? Right. Don't know about you, but just thinking about being at the bottom of the sea like that gives Paimon the heebie-jeebies. Oh, and there's one That's more true. This, the ocean is pretty spooky. I mentioned that I have had personal dealings with the administrator of the fortress, Ridesley. He's a very shrewd fellow. Yeah, we heard about him too. He's that duke, right? Correct. He is the highest ranking manager of the underwater prison. Even though you are going there oh, to shoot. investigate... Oh shoot, Risley lore? Asked, it would behoove you to avoid any confrontation with him or any of his subordinates. The Duke rarely Stealth ever mission the time, America, boys! But that does not mean he is not privy to all that is happening inside and outside the fortress. He is quiet, but not unaware. So he knows so about everything that that's going on? The Duke. All right. It's about all the time that we have to talk privately. I'm counting on you two. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. Don't worry. We won't let you down. We might. Good. <clears throat> Madeline. 
I'm here, Monsieur Nervalet. These two are the newest convicts, I presume? <laughs> Don't worry, they won't escape on my watch. Girl, you do not know the power difference between us, but uh, I appreciate the conviction. <laughs> we would try. Please follow me, you two. I'll process your paperwork for entering the fortress of Meripede. Literally all Traveler has to do is drop a Geo Rock on her and she's in prison. I love... What is this? Involvement in other quests. Continuing the current quest may cause parts of the following quests to become occupied. Progress cannot be made on occupied quests. Unfinished comedy world quests. Continue the quest. Whoa! That's a very nice improvement. No more quest locks. Uh, so continue. A tea party most thorny. Ride the lift and enter the fortress of Metropide. Oh, boys, we're about to get locked up. We're about to get sealed in our Subnautica prison. Help me. Wait, wait, I'm on my phone call. Yuffie, Yuffie, Shinobu. I'm going are crazy. You already underwater now? The walls are closing in on me, chat. Yeah. So this is what it feels like to be a criminal in Fontaine. I never thought the entrance would be right here. You two seem to be taking this pretty well. It's rare to see convicts in such a good mood. That's fair. We... Oh, shoot. Dude, what's up? What's up, bro? What's up, guys? Wait, I'm going to check for loot really quick. I'm escaping. Just, okay. All right. We just, I just want to look behind real quick. Okay. Anyway, anyway, back to the, the subject matter ahead. Sorry, I'm a little greedy. Wait, what is... Is that a height thing? Is that where I take my photos? Or mug shots? Oh, the music. <sighs> oh, uh, oh, it's you, Madeline. Why'd they make you make the trip down here today? Monsieur Nervalet personally requested I escort these two convicts. I suppose he was concerned others might not be up to the task. <laughs> well, now, aren't you the lucky one? Must be nice to be on good terms with the big shots like the Chief Justice. Drama, workplace the only drama. I get to see every day are the new inmates. Hey. Well, have you tried service with a smile? Who knows? It might help your professional reputation. Dane. <laughs> yeah, right. As if. Every criminal comes through here looking miserable. How can I smile with such a toxic work environment? Oh, maybe get a little like shrub. And even if I did smile at succulent. Them, the convicts would probably just think that I'm some freak getting some kind of twisted enjoyment from their pain. Man, we're really getting in this right now. Guys, can we g take my photos now? I want to go to prison. Oh, she's got a point. Well, I've finished transferring you. You two will register here, and Moret will guide you through the remaining procedures. <sighs> yep, I'll take it from here. You head on back to that bright and sunny world above. She's not bitter, though. We're here. Okay, let me see. You are the Traveler and Paimon, correct? Pr present. That would be us. Let me confirm your charges and sentence. Let's see. You two are charged with... Wait, are we going to get charged with something crazy? Eating a cake specially prepared for the Archon by a Snezhnayan envoy without the Archon's permission, thereby incapacitating the political center of Fontaine for a brief period. Sentence... 45 days? Yo, at least give us something respectable. Hello? Our sentence is gluttony. Huh? Wait. You mean the cake that Nervalet gave us? Just looking at the charges, it seems you two are capable of causing some serious trouble. Is she being sarcastic? Or, or is everyone down here in jail for like... Stepping on Legos. And considering how fond Lady Furina is of sweets, this crime is tantamount to trying to assassinate the Hydro Archon herself. <laughs> you flatter us. You really have an eye for criminals. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> anyway, we still need to finish processing you before you can enter the Fortress of Meripede. Please stand in front of the board over there. I'll take your mug shots with my camera. Here we go. Oh, right. But be sure to catch Paimon's good side. Paimon, you can't, you can't talk like that in prison. We gotta be hard so we don't get picked on. Here we go. Smile, chat. <laughs> Smile, traveler. 
We're locked up, boys. <laughs> Not us getting mug shots. You go, Paimon. You go, girl. Dude, Nuvolet's cake got us in prison, boys. That's a sentence I never thought I'd say in 4.1. And we're done. Thank you for your cooperation. Next, someone will be along to guide you inside the fortress. Please be sure to cherish this opportunity for rebirth. Okay, I actually love her personality. <laughs> She's like the slug lady from Monsters, huh? Inc. Rebirth? Isn't that a little much? We're only going to be here for 45 days. You two are the new inmates, right? Follow me. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. He's going to be like, I don't care. Save it. Not like I'll remember your names. Move it. You think they'd have like some big old robots here? Oh, I'm. This is. Oh! We're going in, boys! Hey, I saw this in the Mario movie! We're gonna end up at Bowser's Castle. Paimon, the best travel companion ever. so sick oh shoot so, we're institution are boys you now the guards here? um is there anything we should be careful of while we're here i want stop embarrassing me deacon says nothing deacon is angry uh did paimon already ask something she wasn't supposed to why should i tell you anything what's in it for me you sure don't why were you sent to bring us in this is exactly why I can't stand you fish. I wouldn't even be doing this if it weren't for the credit coupons. Credit coupons? We're the new fish! It's actually a prison right. term. Seeing as you're not the annoying kind that's getting dragged in here crying and blubbering, I guess I can tell you a few things. No thanks, Deacon. And next time, it'll cost you some coupons. That sounds fair. Aura means nothing here. Here, we use credit coupons. Okay. Coupons can get you almost anything in the Fortress of Meripede. Desires? Fulfilled. My sister? You want power? No problem. Coupons can even change fate itself. So, credit coupons are a currency that can only be used here? Yo, is this, is Fontaine, is, is, uh, is, uh, this prison sponsored by Chase Bank? It's not as simple credit as Credit cards? That. Like Moret said, everyone gets a chance at rebirth. No matter how much money or power you had before, it means nothing once you set foot inside the Fortress of Meripede. You have to start over and earn your coupon. This is interesting. Everyone starts from the same place. And you have a chance at a new, less terrible life. I guess that's the real purpose of the coupons. They symbolize true fairness and true justice. And this is also exactly why so many criminals choose not to return to the outside world, even after they've served their sentence. Oh, shoot! The plot thickety thickens! They feel more, like, justified here in the fortress. Oh, so that's what the fortress of Meripede is Song like. change? Huh. Paimo was under the impression that it'd be more like a prison. It certainly ain't all sunshine and roses here. Oh, crap. It's also not the worst place to be. You'd better take a good look at the scenery now. It'll be the last chance you get for a while. That would be pretty depressing. After being away from the sunlight for so long. Even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. That's a sh it just stops feeling oppressive, you know? Dang. Yo, Deacon really laying it out for us oh, right now. I'm actually an inmate like you two. Welcoming newcomers is a job I've picked up to earn some extra coupons. Have you ever seen the Duke? Have you seen the Harbinger from Shneznaya? You were going to respond with silence no matter what I chose there. Uh, why aren't you answering us again? I've told you enough. For we free. met up our quota. Any more info is gonna cost you. Yo, I'll sell Paimon. So all you care about is Mora. Wait, no. Coupons? Almost there. It's down through here. Your turn to give it a try. To give it a try? Visitor to the aquarium. Oh my gosh, look at this lineup. Oh, this is so cool. Time to ride the lift, boys. Hold up, I want to look at the water really quick. 
Look at that, Chad. We're in prison now, brothers. All right, showtime. Locked up, boys. We're going to prison. The walk of shame. It's time to exercise the demons in Fortress of Metropine. Okay, all right. Anyway, anyway. Where do I... Where do I... Do I go around? Hello? Yo, they're really... They're really giving me some freeform control over my jailing experience here. We're going deeper? I'm starting to go crazy. I'm starting to go stir crazy, boys. Let me out. Let me out. I miss the sunshine. I miss my auntie. I miss I miss the sweet fields of Fontaine. So, the hilly churls. It's like a metaphor for your previous life, isn't it? Is something about to happen to us? Our lives weren't that bad. Yo, don't blow our cover. Oh my gosh, this is so deep down here. Chat, you want to get claustrophobic? Yo, imagine getting locked up down here for like 20 years. And how you would feel going in. That would be terrifying. Okay. Nice little writing on the walls. You guys have computers. That's cool. Any games? You guys got games on your phone? Oh, shoot. Here we go. Metropide time. So this is the actual entrance to the fortress of Meropied? Meropied. Meropied. Uh -huh. That's what I meant. It looks like there are other new arrivals, too. Oh, they sure don't look happy. Uh... Maybe we look too relaxed for fresh convicts. That's what I'm saying. You're probably the only one that doesn't play that in. Hurry up and think about something sad. Oh, right. We're on someone else's territory now. Uh, we need to think of a good way to act like criminals to get by. Think of, think of Tepe. If we're discovered, even Nervalet might not be able to rescue us. If we ever got found out, they, then maybe we'd become criminals for real. Hey. That's the spirit, Paimon. Keep with that. Keep with that energy. Uh, look, I don't really know you, and I have no idea what kind of crime you committed, but you wouldn't have happened to anger someone important, did you? Uh, someone important? Hmm, Paimon doesn't Farina. think so. Uh, wait, why are you suddenly trying to talk to us now? Now's not the time to worry about that. Anyway, it's over there, so... You just go on over there by yourselves. I've done my job, so good luck. Thanks, Deacon. Not bad guy. Fair. He's what being was fair. That all about? Someone important. Uh, wait a second. Are there usually so many garter backs around here? That's apparently not. Does that mean they're here for us? They're already on to us? Get ready to fight? We have to fight the why Prisoners would we Prisoners numbers 7459 and 7560. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, no need to be <gasps> He's here! These Gardamex aren't here to attack you. In fact, they're here as your honor guard. So we don't get attacked by the people who are already here? Oh, shoot! The man himself, boys! When I heard that you were friends of Monsieur Nervillette, I had the Gardamex come and wait in formation. Oh my gosh, he looks so good in game chat. Wait, you know about our connection with Nervillette? The seafloor isn't as cut off from the world as you might imagine. However, I'm afraid that I know nothing more than that you are friends of the Udex. And as you can see, the committing music. a crime means being sentenced here. Even if you're friends with the Chief Justice. Quite fair. So you must be... The, the Duke! Uh, greetings, Your Grace! L lovely weather today, Yo, isn't it? Let's talk Deacon up, man. Deacon was good to us. Oh, greetings, my good fellow. Well, I'm willing to imagine that the weather is as good outside the sea as you say it is. Haha. <laughs> Ah, how great it would have been if only the Fortress of Meripede had been built on the coast, huh? It would have been so convenient to enjoy a nice chat in the sunshine. Oh, man, this guy's voice. This guy's kind of sick. Dude, his little uh, uh, chain thing is cool, too. Apologies. I just got so nervous when I saw you. I just... So this is the Duke. He sure looks a lot younger than Paimon imagined. Yo, arrest me. Take me in. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. The <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Correct. Mr. Deacon here was responsible for your welcome. 
I trust you were satisfied with his guidance? Yes, we were. It was okay. His attitude could use some work, though. He's taking great care of us. Splendid chap, really. Outstanding. Well, Deacon, I recall Let's we discussed go! fate during our last work meeting. Hmm? I believe that fate will reward all those who take every aspect of their work and life seriously. When you return to your bunk, you'll find the guards have issued some extra credit coupons to you. Does it change based on what we choose, Chad? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, and you too. I can't believe you gave me such praise. Dude, I'm if so you glad. Need anything in the future, anything, please come find me anytime. No credit coupons necessary. I ratted him out. Yup. Did it change what it said to me? Well, I believe that concludes the introductions. We've already taken enough time here. Deacon, if you would. It does change. I did. I chose that because he was nice to us, Chant. Obviously, he gave us some free questions. He gave us a little bit of freebies, even though he's just doing his job. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take my leave now. He could have been a little bit better, Please but you know. Follow me. To make you feel more welcome, I'll show you around the various facilities of the Fortress of Meripede. I hope it'll help you adjust to life here. Thank you, Mr. Risley. He's going to personally give us a cure? Huh. Hyman can't figure out what this guy's thinking at all. Let's just roll with it for now. No wonder Charlotte's so interested in him. He's one of those. Dude, the robots. Types. I wonder if he's trying to put a target on our backs. We getting the special treatment. Oh, yeah. We're getting the grand altar from Monsieur. Not Monsieur. Oh, that's so sick. Okay, where do we go? Administrative era. Area. Well, food. There's no need to be so reserved. The label of criminal is nothing but one of many. Dude, the identities. music! And being criminally inclined here at the fortress is just one of many ways to survive. Uh, is it really okay for the warden to think like that? We're real criminals, you know. What if we're too difficult to handle? I think we are too difficult to well, handle. Maybe you'll be able to carve out a name and a place for yourselves in this underwater world, hmm? But before you go in swinging, Please remember that in the Fortress of Meripede, it's better to not cause trouble for yourself or for the guards. Man, he's so sick. Now, we've arrived at a very important place. Food. The Coupon Cafeteria. You can come here and claim one welfare meal each day. Soup. Welfare meal? You mean it doesn't cost anything? That's right. Criminals are essential to fortress operations, so we must guarantee that they at least have the basic means to survive. That's nice. I guess. But that's not how it was. Back in the day, it cost your reward coupons just to get a cup of water here. For fish like you, <gasps> Risley changed it. Nothing. You'd have to go to work hungry until you earned enough coupons to eat. It was only after His Grace became the administrator Aww. that we got the free meal rule. He's a good guy. Now everyone gets a square meal every day. Even no good slackers who've never picked up a wrench in their whole lives. Nobody starves to death here. Oh. Uh, is that a, a singular handcuff tied to his the back of his coat? I have some questions, and I'm not sure if I'm ready for the answers. In the Fortress of Meripede, credit coupons are the only currency, and everything must be purchased. In some sense, you could say using the coupons is a form of trade, but trade is always conducted. Is that a by little janitor people. robot? So if we want trade here to prosper, we need everyone to work hard and live their lives. If nobody could even afford a meal, then the whole fortress would be up in arms. That would only make things more difficult for me. So, rather than saying that we're giving everyone a free meal here, you should say that everyone's hard oh, work has him. improved the living conditions in the Fortress of Merope. The handcuff is for me. Okay, all right, Chad. Your Chad, relax. reasoning is correct, but what I said is also true. Whatever the case, hard work is rewarded here. You'd be hard-pressed to find anywhere else as fair and reasonable. Thanks, Walsy. Right! Pilot sees your point. By that logic, this place doesn't seem so bad after all. Oh, wait, no. We shouldn't drop our guard so quickly. He knows. But it seems the inmates really respect the Duke because of his attitude, right? Hmm. We should still try to verify the truth with our own eyes. That's true. Be suspicious, uh, Paimon. this way. Look at the little janitor robot. <laughs> He's okay. Can we pet him? This way? Where's... Where's this... Oh, 
that's what's... Okay, this way is far. The fortress is like a city, chat. This is so cool. <clears throat> Hello? Yoo-hoo! This place is known as the Pancration Ring. A boxing ring? Sometimes we have criminals who have more energy than they know what to do with. Their daily work alone isn't enough of an outlet for them. Oh, so, shoot! Instead of leaving them to their own devices, we've provided them with this dedicated venue. This way, Please tell me we can do this. Unless they want to be. Pancration matches? And you can earn extra coupons? Oh, what do you think, Traveler? Interested? Yes, but we must stay focused, my brothers. But I must warn you that your sentence will be extended if you fail to restrain yourself and end up seriously injuring or killing your opponent. In that case, I'll pass. Seems you know me too well. So, did you set this place up too? No, actually. I just granted approval for the organizer, Who's the organizer? This area to build the ring, and I collect a portion of the proceeds in return. Of course, the fees are also quite useful. Oh. Do you mind if we ask what they're used for? Sure. Ensuring personal safety, maintaining the arena, and resolving any conflicts that arise. Why? Are you interested in how to manage a pancreation ring? Yeah, I want to start one up in, uh, in Leeway so I can fight the perfume lady. Oh, no, no. I'm always just wondering if that's how you paid for everyone's welfare meals. A reasonable guess. I see you have a talent for entrepreneurship. She is pretty good at it, to be honest. Oh, you hear that? Paimon has a talent. <laughs> so we can start a business here? That is something you can discuss between yourselves later. Let's move on for now. Yes, sir. Yes, Captain. Yes, senor. Where are we going? Talk to Risley at the dormitories. Oh, look how grandiose it is, chat. Wait, do we go up? It says it's up. Up the elevator? Oh. Uh-oh. Help. Higher. Three meters higher? Wait, it says out. Oh, oh, uh, we broke into the warden's office! We made a mistake! Let me out! <laughs> <clears throat> we just extended our uh, sentence by two years? How do we... Is there a staircase I'm supposed to be following? This place is huge! This guy... Is this guy just expecting me to shimmy up the wall? How to say Risley? Is it right? How do you say it again, chat? Risley? Risley? Right? Wait, I can figure this out. Believe in me, gamers. Okay, that's an elevator down. So that means the elevator up is right here. Or I just follow the the yellow highlighted line in front of me. Duh. The doy. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want... Why do they have... Why do they have two separate elevators for up and down? That seems not efficient. We're going to the dormitories. Can I share a bunk with uh, Auntie Shinha? <clears throat> Sorry, Riz, 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 Rithus, Rizly. John, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm in prison, guys. It's changing me. It's changed me already. Dude, the music in here is so intense. I'm just gonna call him Rizly. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. No, wait. What time is it again? Oh, Fitzroy. What time indeed. Time waits for no one, so it's best to keep an eye on it. Ah, uh, my, my apologies, Your Grace. <laughs> Jeez. That guy's so nervous, he almost forgot to breathe. <gasps> oh, he Sorry. did forget to breathe. Forget my manners. <laughs> These are the dormitories, which is where inmates sleep. The guards will inform you where your bunk is later. In the fortress of Meripede, criminals usually spend most of their time in either the production zone or the sleeping areas. It's nice and moist. The production zone? Well, what my skin won't dry out. That's a is positive. That we'll be working? Not necessarily. Though working in the production zone is the most reliable way to earn credit coupons. If you have other skills, you can skip your shifts to earn them in other ways. Wow. Wait, you're the manager of this place? And you're just telling us to our faces that it's okay to skip work? 
if we make money elsewhere. The fact that the Fortress of Meripede has continued operating completely autonomously is proof enough that most people are willing to work honestly and earn a stable income. As for what we produce, many of the mm. clockwork machines seen all over Fontaine originate from our workshop. Therefore, the Fortress of Meripede oh, look how is cool this is place where with the fan shadows the too but also a giant machine factory. There's no need for me to get into specifics about the production process now. You'll experience it all firsthand when you report for work tomorrow. You got it, boss. <laughs> Let's move on. The tour continues over this way. He, he liked us. He likes us. Lady! <laughs> Ain't no way! Oh, Liddy. <laughs> Don't, don't look at him. Pretend we didn't see him. Uh, oh! Oh, uh, you really scared me there. I didn't expect to see you here, uh, your grace. <laughs> I thought maybe I was so tired from work that I was starting to see things. Oh, the plot thickety thickens, boys! We know Liddy's probably in here for a child. The only thing you should be seeing is the work in front of you. Stay focused and keep up the pace. Oh? Is something the matter? Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. Paimon's just worried about how hard we'll have to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Traveler just be like, mm-hmm. Scritch, scritch. All right, onward. Into the, into the sleeping corners. Oh, this guy's got an eye patch. Rosalino. Is this where I'm sleeping? Oh, the little one. Oh, shoot. I didn't know she was going to be in this. Oh, shoot. She looks oh, adorable. Grace, what are you doing in the infirmary at a time like this? Oh, no. You didn't injure yourself, did you? I haven't seen her design at all, chat. She looks great. The little... Oh. Not yet, unfortunately for you. But thank you for your concern, Sijuin. Sijuin? Oh. <laughs> then you must be here for those two. Allow me to introduce you. This is the infirmary, and Sijuin here is the Fortress of Meripede's head nurse. Is it, Are you half Melazine, half human? <laughs> They call me the head nurse, but I actually handle all the nurse-related work all by myself down here. Since you seem to have some rare downtime with no patients, perhaps you could find the time to join us for dinner? Oh, then these two must be some important convicts. <laughs> sure, I'll join the welcome party. Oh, Thank you. Your presence will be the pièce de résistance for today's tour. Oh, so the tour part is over now? I believe I've already covered the primary aspects of life here in the fortress. As for your work, there'll be someone else to guide you through the details. Hmm. Is there anything else? I seldom conduct tours, so why don't you just ask if you have any questions? Um. Do you know where my sister is? Oh, wait, Ron. Uh, Ron script. Uh, this is our first time here. I'm not sure what to ask. Then let's head back to the coupon cafeteria. Maybe a meal will help you think up some questions. We're actually kind of full. At least try to be excited. Our free meals are actually pretty good here. Oh, she's so nice. Chat, did anyone else forget that she was going to be in this? I totally forgot. I wasn't expecting... That was such a pleasant surprise. Time to get some food. Time to get some food. Chat, what's everyone getting? I want some nice prison mac and cheese. Rata. Hello? Yoo-hoo! Maybe some soup at the scani. Oh, this is having a meal. Think of the food. Does it meet your expectations? She's so adorable. Wow. It looks delicious. No one made it sound like living conditions in the fortress of Meripede wasn't very good. Is that I guess that criminals get to eat tasty food like this every day? That looks divine, man. That's better than what I eat. Mine's pretty good, too. Oh, isn't that the meal box that only super lucky people manage to draw? Seems like you two are quite fortunate. Oh, are there some not so good ones? It actually has nothing to do with luck in this case. 
I had a word with Walsey, so you didn't have to draw lots like everyone else. Oh, you mean the meals are random? What are your intentions, Mr. Risley? Yes, what you get to eat depends completely on your luck. You could say that it's a distasteful little game that Chef Walsey <laughs> likes to play here in the cafeteria. Pym, I knew it! If criminals got to eat tasty food like this every meal, the crime rate in Fontaine would skyrocket for sure! Whoa, Pymon, let's not get too political now. Excuse me, did I hear you mention Nervy Let just now? Oh, I've been wondering how he's doing. Is he busy with work? Has he been taking care of his health? I'm seeing a lot of uh, similarities chat to the plotline in Honkai Star Rail, actually. An underground doctor? He seems healthy no matter how you look at him. But he works so hard all the time, so it must be really tiring. It sounds like he hasn't changed a bit. Looks like you can stop worrying so much, Sejuin. Oh, that's good. But I still feel like it's been too long since I've heard any news about him. Is it inappropriate to ask what Sejuin is? No news is good news. Why do you have a tail and, and little the bulbs coming out of your forehead? Maybe next time I've got something to discuss with him, I can invite you to accompany us. Hmm? But isn't the Fortress of Meropede independent from Fontaine's court system? What do you two have to discuss? Well, we provide all kinds of mechanical products for official use, and some essential goods have to be obtained from the overworld, so we naturally have to... Sigwing is Sigwing. <laughs> Just like Paimon is Paimon. Monsieur Nuvelet's character is unimpeachable. No matter the question, you can discuss it openly and freely with him. Talking with him feels quite effortless. Honestly, that's true. In light of that, I am quite willing to go out of my way to show respect and accommodate him. In fact, right now, I'm treating you two as guests invited by Monsieur Nuvelet. But unfortunately, I can only do so until the end of this meal. The meal ends. He smacks us in the face. After this, you two Cryo will just fist. be inmates here. Okay, understood. Thank you for your hospitality. You're very welcome. Well, your new life awaits. You know we're only here in here for 45 days, right, man? Make sure to take a picture before you go for the happy family, Nuvalet, Rio, and Sigwin. Oh, we could pull up Nuvalet. All right, chat, it's photo time with our favorite. Wait, what, what did I level new let to? Level 40? Here we go. Perhaps we could take a quick walk. Little, about quick little, this is necessary. This is necessary to the. To, wait, I can't. I can't sit. Oh, wait. Look, we're a happy family. <laughs> happy family in jail. The lore conversation you don't see. All right. Return to your dormitories and talk to Fielding. Yes, sir. Here we go. Skirt, skirt. Where is uh the elevator again? Is it? Nope. Okay, why didn't we ask what's his face where child is? Would that be too suspicious? It probably would be, eh? Nuvalet's in jail. <laughs> this is breaking my immersion. But the what the what the what the. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Stop it. It's too moist. Okay. To the dormitory. Gonna take a nap. Chat, who's gonna be our bunkmate? Who would you choose in Genshin Impact to be your bunkmate? Chunlin would be pretty sick for free meals. She'd make some pretty good prison food. Hello, sir. Oh, I love your mustache. Traveler and Paimon, right? Listen up. As new inmates, the only thing you need to worry about is what to do and when to do it. Don't make any extra trouble for yourself. All right. Your bunks are right over there. Follow me. Am I going to share a bunk with... We're going to share a bunk with Lenny. He's going to want to sleep in our bunk bed. Oh, we a little house? That'd be so funny if Ido was in here. <sighs> Could you imagine? So this is where we'll be sleeping from now on. Oh, Paimon can't believe this. That bed is huge. Uh, the days of staying home and reading detective stories are like a dream now. <laughs> uh, by the way, Traveler, we saw a lot of things worth investigating just now. This place looks very damp. Even though the Duke didn't say it too directly, judging from what he said at the end, it seems that he was only welcoming because we are criminals. And Paimon did eat that cake. But we're actually here to help Nervous. Time to, time to find hmm. child. Is it possible that he knows we're here on a mission? 
Or is Paimon overthinking things? It's very possible. Yeah, Paimon thinks so too. He probably knew why we came here from the very he... beginning and intentionally wanted to send us a message. He... that he's on our side? Maybe something like, hey, or, yeah, maybe I have that. my eyes on you, <laughs> so don't try anything funny. <laughs> Good accent, Paimon. <laughs> well done, 10 out of 10. But there's nothing we can do about that. We're already here after all. Yeah, you're right. It's not like we can go back to Nivellet empty-handed and say, the dude looks scary, so we gave up. <sighs> and besides, the Duke said that he was willing to go out of his way to show respect for Nivellet, right? So, we at least need to try. But, Hyman hasn't gotten a clue where we should start our investigation. There was one other important thing. Yeah, Lenny. You mean... Yes, the magician Ar Fatui in here. Yeah, that's what Paimon was thinking too. Paimon almost spilled the beans when we ran into him. Fortunately, based on his attitude, it looks like the Duke sees Linny as just another inmate. We worked so hard to help clear Linny and Lynette's names, and yet we turn around and bam! <laughs> that's true. Anyway. That's true. Man, we're not really good lawyers. If I had to guess, I'd say they're here for the same reason we oh, are. Right. Wait, we're probably it being spied on right now. So they could be here to investigate too. We should be quiet. And look, there's something over there. Huh? It... Oh, it's a card. Paimon didn't notice it earlier. And he already is he's already hitting on us. Freaking Risley, man. Mm -hmm. It looks like a magician's prop. Lenny must have left it here. He's in prison and still doing his little tricks, huh? Why Paimon have a look? It was nice to bump into you again. Let's catch up in the production zone tomorrow. What in the world? It's written like he's greeting a buddy on the street. Paimon thought he'd write something important. This proves that he's up to something, too. If you say so, we can ask him what's going on tomorrow. That bed Let's is huge. Loki, being in jail, being in jail with Paimon would be so comforting, chat, than going in alone, to be honest. Having a buddy. Hey, you're finally awake. <laughs> Skyrim reference. You're up early, too. Well, it's Paimon's first day as a prisoner. Last night, Paimon dreamed about getting interrogated by the guards until Paimon told them everything, and then Paimon woke up. No, Paimon snitched! Hey, come on! It's just a dream, okay? Paimon wouldn't really squeal. Maybe. <laughs> hey, lazy bones. What are you still doing here? If you don't want to starve, then get yourselves over to the production zone. Uh, don't we get free meals, though? And we can skip work, so technically... Here we go. We're our first day of work. We're going to the mines, boys. Skirt, skirt. Oh, Lenny. Oh, it's very far down. Wait. Hopefully I wasn't supposed to... Okay. Follow the spotted line. The yellow brick road. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Big summer blowout. Yo, these elevators are very far away from each other. Go, Shinha! Obey. Speed boost! Now I... Now I got the demons. The demon talisman. I'm ready to exercise. My right to work. Here in this beautiful prison of opportunity and rebirth. I am a valuable member of society. Beep boop, beep boop. Chat, what do you think they're going to have us doing? We're probably going to end up making toys again. Every Genshin thing involving gears is us making toys. Making robots. Making out with child. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> with Risley. Sorry. Oh, shoot! The production line! Oh, this is... The little tinkering music, too. Wait, was I supposed to go up? It says... Oh, lol. I was like, my lines were gone. Ah, you must be the catch of the day. Looks like you've got some luck. They have getting batons? This space. Yo, this guy's... Their design's kind of cool, though. Yep. Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking. Yes, sir. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen carefully to my instructions. I don't want any mishaps. Every machine here is worth more than the both of you. Working around these machines can be very dangerous. 
Do your job well, and you can eat in the cafeteria after your shift. Get sloppy, and you dine in the infirmary. Anyway, the Fortress of Merope doesn't want to lose a single one of its machines. And it also doesn't want to waste the production potential of any inmate. You got that? Got it! Your job is to use the machine over there to process widgets. Watch carefully, and make sure you step on the pedal at the right time. If the machine gets jammed, then give it a little maintenance with your fist. Here, take this. I have to punch Bring it? Bring me the process widgets, and I'll give you some credit coupons in exchange. All right, Jet. We got a nine to five in this Archon quest. This machine gets stuck. Smack it. Then the base glows. Jump to complete the modeling process. Oh, it will never get stuck. Here we go. When Dude, the music. Then we jump to complete the process. The I am a good the worker. The Wait, that was an accident. The Here we go. Ah! <clears throat> I'm doing great. I'm doing great, chat. We're working nine to five, baby. No breaks. Okay, you got it. Oh, that was easy. Is that my day's work? Huh. This one is tolerable. Though, since the processing is done by machine, the product is all pretty much the same anyway. Was that it for a day of work? All right, I'll pass you for now. And we'll count up how many credit coupons you've earned. Yo, can I get locked up in the fortress, bro? A full day's work in two minutes? <sighs> I'm exhausted. We're done now, right? Oh, that foreman. He's so scary that Paimon couldn't even speak. Ugh. Even though Paimon's starving and wants to head straight True. to the coupon cafeteria... True. Paimon, you didn't do anything. She can't. Meet Lenny first, right? She can't touch He's the ground. He probably just finished up his work, too. He should be around here somewhere. The... Oh my gosh, look at this. All right. Oh, Lenny. Lenny. Yoo-hoo. Dude, the production line looks like it's, uh, Geonosis in Star Wars. Oh, there's a teleport waypoint. Hey, let's grab that real quick. Keep looking in the area for Lenny. Wait, why does it say in the center? Hold up. Hold up. I'm gonna nab this real quick. It says up. I'm assuming it just means here. Oh, Lenny! Yoo-hoo! Where are you, friend? Lenny! I I want someone to show me a magic Lenny, trick. Mr. Magician? Uh, where are you? Oh, this better not be some disappearing act. Are you in this box? It nope. Doesn't seem to be around here. Let's try looking somewhere else. Like upstairs? Does it say to What is this? Your luck isn't here, but elsewhere. Try your luck near nearby cipher letters. Huh? I'm switching. Consider it a it's a gift from fate. It's here. What? Hold up, Lenny can wait. What is this? Hmm. Credit coupons! Yo, let's go, boys! I'm rich! I'm rich! Two credit coupons! That was kind of fun. The little... It's like we're Cypher in Valorant. Sly, Sly Cooper, bro. I think... Am I supposed to go up? I'm assuming so. Why do the prisoners have the ability to look on the cameras? Oh, Lenny! Yoo-hoo! Or was he down there? Oh, this is just the second floor. Where could he be? I see, I see. Did he decide to slack off and sleep the day away? Dude, I love that it's all one big machine. That'd be cool if you could see all the way up. Is he here? 
Hey, over here. <laughs> oh, you scared Paimon. How'd you appear out of nowhere like that? Our favorite oh, magician. You scare so easily now? Is there something worrying you these days? You little... The only thing we're worried about was trying to find you. True. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Come over here and keep it down. Is child hidden over here? Oh, Lynette! You're here too! <gasps> you two really are inseparable. Yes, let's go! That's right. My brother simply can't stand to be away from me. I love Lynette so stinking much. I love them both, man. Uh, it's not just Lynette. Fremenet is also here. Do you still remember him? <gasps> the whole game's here! In prison. I'm not sure why I'm celebrating. Oh, you mean that diver from the House of the Hearth, right? Pyro remembers seeing him in the Court of Fontaine before. We're all in this no, together. Da, da, da. Up as criminals this time. We fought so hard at court to prove you were innocent, but now it looks like our incredible court battle is for nothing. Sadly, <laughs> even the teeniest of things can land you in prison these days. I put together a street performance and used the popularity we gained from the Opera House incident to attract a big crowd. And then? Next, I invited several audience members to participate in the show. And then, with the entire audience watching, their wallet suddenly disappeared. My brother was charged with theft, and I was charged as his accomplice, having assisted him in his crime. What did Fremenet get in charge for, huh? Uh, it really isn't that bad. The missing wallets are all in the leftmost drawer of the Maison Guardianage's big filing cabinet. We just need to see how long it takes to discover them. Yep, we should be released then. In terms of the magic trick itself, I think the performance went perfectly. We know why you're here. Uh, leave it to Lenny to magic himself into prison. <laughs> Wait, that's actually... The way she said that was so funny. The question it is... The question is, what are you two really doing? Indeed. Last time I hid my identity from you, I promised that I'd tell you absolutely everything okay. if you were angry about it. No more secrets. Nice change of pace. So I don't plan on keeping anything from you this time either. At the moment, the House of the Hearth's interests don't conflict with yours at all. Oh yeah, the Knave probably knows we're on this mission. We were instructed by the father of our house, the Knave, to come here and conduct an investigation. What's your guys' definition of investigation? Does it <gasps> rhyme with jailbreak? Right. As for what we're investigating, perhaps you haven't heard, but the fortress of Meropede hides a secret. Some even say that the entire fortress exists just to protect it. What? The House of the Hearth has been investigating this for a very long time, trying to uncover its mysteries. But recently, all of our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished and have not been heard from since. Huh? We believe that this is a the direct plot thickens. and it's the reason why we came here. Why is the house so interested about the secret? Tell us what it is. Father has somehow managed to confirm that Fossilors does not have Fontaine's Gnosis. Oh shoot! Her better art was right! Huh? How did she manage to learn information that important? Father has her ways. Many of them are beyond our imagination, and we've never had the chance to see her at work. But we trust her conclusions. It was this information that led us to suspect that Fontaine's Gnosis might be in the fortress of Meripede and is related to that secret. Is it because is it because she's guilty of something? So it's all about the Gnosis again. Here we go again. Well, that's about it from our side. How about you two? Did Monsieur Nervulet send you here? I'm not I'm not peeping. Oh, a lot okay. Of pressure. She wants to know what happened to Child, so we came here to investigate. Uh, Traveler, are we allowed to tell them? You asked me a little late on that one there, girl. You already said everything. <laughs> you don't need to worry too much about that. She's just asking for a report on Master Child's predicament as a means of pressuring you. Father used this situation as a pretext to negotiate with two high-ranking officials in the court of Fontaine. She actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains. Dang, elsewhere. that's kind of sick. Almost like a bargaining chip. Sometimes you need an excuse to do things you otherwise couldn't. And a harbinger is more valuable than you might imagine. Of course, it's not a complete farce. 
If we do manage to find out what happened to Master Child too, then diplomatic relations with Fontaine could improve, and Snezhnaya might even be able to. I wonder if Child went for the Gnosis, and Is that's. It Paimon, or does it feel like we're the only ones who actually care about Child's <laughs> situation? The relationship between the Harbingers must be as bad as ever. That's probably true. I wouldn't go that far. Father just has different standards than we do when it comes to what can be sacrificed for an advantage. Uh, by the way, I have a suggestion. Why don't we team up? Honestly, I'm down. Even though we have different objectives, we're both here to investigate the fortress of Meripede. It would be more efficient for a us to A good old together. team up. Where's Fermanet? Is he just in, like, in the pipes snorkeling or something? As you know... The House of the Hearth has many reasons to seek the Gnosis, but our highest priority remains resolving the prophesized crisis. Dude, the music. You can trust us on that. He's shy. Sorry, I must refuse. See, I told you. Why? Is that so? Hmm. Sure enough, it won't be easy to convince them to cooperate with us. Lenny seems to be thinking pretty hard about something. Of course he is. Lenny has been looking forward to a chance to reach an understanding with you ever since last we met. He's trying to min he's trying to min the bridge. He's super shy, super shy. Or, I should say, we were really looking forward to teaming up with you this time. Lynette, just tell them everything, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my, man. I love these guys. It's okay to open up a little. If all we're doing is sharing the info, fine. But maybe we can start things get serious. <laughs> Very prudent of you, and consistent okay. with your behavior since we first met. I like this. That's reasonable enough, and I agreed to cooperate on these terms as well. Because when we left the first, the second Archon Quest chat, we were on not-ish. We were on very strained terms with Linny and Lynette. And then when we, we did Lin Linny's story quest, it didn't really make sense why we were so buddy-buddy with Linny all of a sudden without having this moment happen where we're trying to bridge the gap. And so I'm glad we're doing that right now. I'm just glad it's happening. I was prepared for the worst, but you were actually more agreeable than I anticipated. <laughs> All right, then. There's no time to lose. I have some information to share, so listen carefully. Oh, the plot. Since Lynette and I arrived here, our investigation uncovered the fact that the Fortress of Meripede has a forbidden zone. It's where the Mirror Maiden banner is. Most people just clammed up and wouldn't talk, but after asking the right questions, we were able to confirm the existence of the Forbidden Zone from the guards. The Forbidden Zone. We're Genshin on the switches. You should be aware of that while you're investigating. A Forbidden Zone? Oh, could that be where the child disappeared to? Hopefully you're child's right. okay. We'll definitely keep that in mind. Good. That's the most suspicious thing about the fortress that we know of so far. We have a few other unanswered questions, and we'll be investigating those as quickly as we can. Anyway, I hope you find our information useful at least. Oh, look at the time. You two must be hungry. We you should go to the coupon cafeteria and get something to eat. I'll use my cards to get in touch with you again in the future. Yo, you're shooting us away, man. Oh, that's just what Paimon wanted to hear. Paimon's starving after all that work today. We can talk more about the investigation later. Let's go get some grub. It's chow time, boys. Food, food. Wait, wait, where's Fermin A? I like how Traveler, not only do Linny and Lynette. Uh, wait, can I teleport now? Oh my gosh, I should have got this. Not only do Linny and Lynette, uh, Forget about talking about Fruminate, but also Traveler doesn't think to ask about Fruminate. That poor boy is completely ignored. Oh, he wasn't kidding. Today's meal is nowhere near as good as last time. Oh, who knows how long it'll be until we're lucky enough to get that super tasty meal again. As long as you're here long enough, there'll only be a better time before you'll get it again. Yeah, forget about it then. We'll just deal with the regular food for the time being. Let's just get out of here, Zoom. But life here doesn't seem all that bad. Other than the foreman being kind of mean and the work being pretty tiring. You think so, mate? <laughs> if I had a coupon for every fish who said that. Are we about to get picked on? Seems you fishies still haven't learned your lessons from your life up on the surface. If you take things at face value, then by the time you reach a dead end, you won't even know how you ended up on that road in the first place. Have some advice for us, old timer? 
<laughs> I like your attitude. I can uh let you in on a little something. What's up? Everyone's been telling you to just follow the rules and not cause any trouble for yourself. But what they don't tell you is that the rules aren't exactly what they pretend to be. The rules for being a prisoner. The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. Oh shoot. Huh? Is he gonna hidden lie to rules? us? What do you mean? Not everyone knows about those rules, but whether you know them or not, once you break one, you might encounter something even worse than death. Really? Oh, now you're really scaring poor Paimon. Don't joke around like that. Did you just see something worse than death? Have some advice for us, old timer? Of course. And I'd say that just disappearing would be one of the better outcomes. Oh, you mean that if there really are hidden rules, then child's disappearance might have something to do with it? Uh, in that case, would you tell us some hidden rules? We definitely want to avoid breaking them. They wouldn't be so hidden if... <laughs> Come on, mate. This is valuable information. The difference between life and death. Do you really think you can just ask and I would tell you? Yes, because I'm geo-aligned. I can drop a meteor on your booty right now, bro. Paimon understands, but we don't have many credit coupons yet. I have two. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not like I'm going anywhere. Just come talk to me after you've saved enough. Moreover, your new fish, freshly caught and completely out of your element. Do I like his VA a lot? Would be the point in even telling you anything. Before you've gotten a handle on your new lives. Come and find me once you've been here longer. I'm usually around the rag and bone shop. Just call me V-Doc. Bye bye now. Bye. I can sell Paimon. He left. She's like a meal. Just like that. Huh. Do you think he's just trying to scare us into buying fake information from him? Is it possible that someone would just disappear? But I'm still interested. Yeah. It might be a good place to start in our investigation. Hidden rules, huh? But, like he said, we don't have any coupons and we're still not familiar with this place. Oh, there's nothing we can do about it now. Ah, we were so busy talking, we almost forgot to eat. Even if it's not the best, it's probably better while it's warm. Come on, dig in before it gets cold. This is, we're just into our new life on the inside, boys. Before long, it's nighttime. To the dormitories. Which one is the dormitory teleport? Man, I wish I unlocked that map. I guess it's I guess it's more immersion this way. Eh? Does anyone know which one the dormitory teleport is? I'm guessing it's this one. Okay. <clears throat> well, process of elimination. <clears throat> well, dilly dilly. Oh, we broke out! <laughs> that was an accident. It was an accident, I swear. I'm sorry. Wow, that was kind of easy, man. Okay, here we go. Oh, a doctor. Dude, the music in here is so good. Feels like Mission Impossible. Good night, chat. Sweet so dreams. So just confirmed with the guards that our shift is set for every morning. And we're free to do whatever we want all afternoon. Is it actually going to make us go through? But it seems like most of the other inmates choose to continue working through the afternoon to earn more credit coupons. Oh, and they also said that you can use coupons to skip work in the morning and free up your time. Is it about to give us a schedule that we have to abide by? This is going to be sick if that's they the case. Were kidding. Credit coupons really can be used to do anything here. I'm so tired. Oh. And we'll need to wake up and go to work in the morning. Without any credit coupons, it's not like we can really do anything I else. I got two. Hmm. Nighty night, Traveler. Paimon hopes we can keep making Hold progress up. on our investigation tomorrow. Is Traveler about to have a dream? I can sense it. I could... I knew it! Child's vision! Okay, we're seeing in child's eyes. I 
I hear someone calling. It's the whale. Spend my C6 Nouvelle. C6 swipe your credit card. I like the little music here. Our boy's about to get sucked into the abyss. The abyssy. Okay, the fighters are in. I wonder, that'd be cool if, if us having child's vision connects us to him and that's why we can see us, see this. That kind of makes sense. Is it that same abyssal thing that? Are you awake, Traveler? Cha I, I knew we were gonna get, I could feel the dream sequence about to happen. What's wrong? You seem to have something on your mind. Did you dream about something? I like dreamed that? a child. Rather in the dream, I was child. Is that even possible? Unless it wasn't an ordinary dream? Oh, child's vision! So you had it with you this whole time? How, dude, how do you think of I feel like you would get that would get confiscated, to be honest. Oh yes, the vision that can control water, that gives me the ability to control water, and I'm taking it into a prison that is surrounded by water and works with water everywhere. Maybe the vision connected child's consciousness Traveler, where'd you hide that? Maybe I can use his vision to see everything he's experienced from his perspective. And our investigation has its first major breakthrough! Good thing you brought the vision with you here. So what did you see in the dream? Do you know where child went? To the fighting ring. I didn't see anything. I, it was a little huh. hazy. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. Belly button. What's more important now is that it's the start of another new day of prisoners. <laughs> Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons. The way she says this, it's another new day as prisoners. What's the plan for today? Let's go work in the production zone. Let's spend some coupons to skip work. Let's go. It's Let's go to work. To start working. If that guard fielding catches us skulking about, he's sure to give us an earful. This is what I was supposed. We get to choose. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a wasting. Already on it. Good. Here you go. Remember to give me the widget once. You yes, sir. It's time to make our money. Time to make Daddy Grainville proud for the bread and the butter. Smack. We're not going to miss this time. Smack. Hard at work. Nine to five. Money, money, money. Ain't it funny? In a rich man's world. Uh, what's a prisoner to do? Th right. That was perfect. I, that was actually perfection. I better get a bonus. <sighs> I'm on speed. But after so many shifts, it seems we're really getting the hang of it now. We've been in here for two days. For, uh, it does seem to be getting easier. All you do is float around telling me what to hey do. Hey there, fellow shift mates. I saw you finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. Seems like a nice guy, Rowan. Oh, hey there. Like the I've beard? You Your assigned workspace is really close, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. The name's Rowan. This past few days, I couldn't help but notice the new faces working nearby. I guess we were destined to meet. I can't believe we are literally in jail for multiple days. Yo, Numelet really taking advantage of us. I've been working here for almost 15 years. Even the foreman Grainville always calls me chief. Uh, it's dating. It's dating sim time. Make money, learn skills, sleep, repeat. <laughs> Romance Risley in our free time. <laughs> wow, you've been working here a long time, chief. In other words, you haven't managed any improvements. Yo, what the? <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. I know the work here in the production zone. The forbidden the zone. Back of my hand. The forbidden zone. All right, chief. We'll be sure to come to you first. I think I've got the work done. We just haven't quite learned all the rules. Did you just ask about the rules? Yes. <laughs> Pretty sharp for newcomers. You've already heard about the rules, huh? Who'd you hear it from? The hidden rules. That's what they're called, right? Hmm. All right. Seeing as I'm the one who came over here, you're already calling me chief. I guess I can tell you a little. Let's go, boys! Truth is, 
You two keep working like this, you might be putting yourselves in danger. Because people are going to steal us? Yeah. Steal from us? Wait, there's even a rule about that? What would have happened if you never told us about this? Oh, is everyone supposed to work at the same, like, level? So that way, there's no expectancy to work harder? Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But once you do break one, bad things happen. So the conditions in this case if are... you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Huh? Like what? Oh, don't scare Paimon! <laughs> if I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. Now would I? You mean... Even you have never tried working three days We got it. Well, we got to spring the trap, boys. There's actually a legend about this rule. They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job, and most other workers couldn't hold a candle to him. One time, he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could. Then during lunch on the third day... Did he day, disappear? He disappeared into thin air, as if he'd evaporated. Later, some people went and asked some of his past friends about him, but they said, never heard of the guy. What the? How could that happen? Was it primordial water or did they take him somewhere? What did that worker look like? Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. Wait, are you thinking that it was... Thank you very much for the information. <gasps> we'll give it a try. <laughs> you... <sighs> Listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. Now I kind of regret ever telling you. Yeah. We would have done it anyway. Here. Do you really want to try? Sounds like a good lead to me. Uh, all right. If you insist. Time to spring the trap, boys. <laughs> Time to get Ermin sold. Wait, did I just hear a chest? Whoa! Isn't this the super lucky view? Looks like hard work really does get rewarded. Wait, wait, wait. I'm Look at her. Take her time and save her every bite. What would you like to do this afternoon? Let's go work. Let's go to the rain. Let's go investigate. Let's go to the rain. Sure. If we're not going to work, then let's kill some time at the pancreation ring. Wait, should I have gone to work to spring the trap? Shoot. Did I choose the wrong thing? Wait, this is so cool that you get all these different options. View stage objective. Oh, okay. Chad, we're going to the Thunderdome, brothers. We're making bank. We got 800 coupons already. Where were we supposed to find that one guy? Chet, do you remember? This is where Child was, so it would make sense to go down here. To the Thunderdome we go to prove our worth in combat so I can earn some prison money. Meow! Yoo-hoo! It's me, Chun Yunathan. Chad Yoon. Here to flex my muscles, my muscles. Oh, you must be the traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh, competitors as strong as you are prohibited from participating. Honestly, fair. I don't make the rules, mind you, but I was given very specific instructions. That is very fair. Even convicts value their lives, don't they? I hope you can understand, but we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength, and you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. A mini game? What do you think? And if we lose the game, will it cost us? Of course. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. Okay? Give it a try. Great. Let me walk you through the rules. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. If you can complete a few rounds in a row with no mistakes, then you'll win credit coupons. Oh, I got this! But the second the you mess up the order, you'll lose. Game they over. call me Master of Memory. The game costs 300 credit coupons to have it go. So, you up for it? Let's do it, boys! Thanks for your patronage, mate. Now, let the game begin. Dude, the stakes are so high, too, because the actual quest progression. Okay, focus up. Targets will come up in order. When the light's up, you must attack the targets in the order in which they came up. Okay, I'm going to switch to someone with a sword. Okay, here we go. Okay, do your best to hit the target. One, like two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Here we go, boys. One, two, three. One, two. I almost forgot. Three. 
One, two, three. This is so easy. Oh my gosh, give me a challenge, baby! One, two, three. Where's... Where's my money? Where's my money? Perfection! Not bad. not bad at all. Here, the coupons you won. Be sure not to lose them. Where was the guy we needed to pay for the secret information? Do we remember, chat? Aw, looks like we won't get a chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Let's get to bed early. Dude, this is so such a fun way to do like the the actual gameplay in Archon Quest. This Maybe is Maybe we can make some progress in our investigation today. What do you have planned? Wait, complete the quest stage objectives in certain quests to advance the story. It may also be viewed from the quest menu. While working the morning shift, apply continuous working shifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to do. Let's go work in the well, production really zone. Oops, the foreman will be in a better mood today. Time to get kidnapped, boys. Here we go. You guys ready to get kidnapped? Got your bags well, packed? decided to show up? Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a wasted. I like to apply for three continuous working days. Oh? What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need coupons that badly? I spent them all on Funko Pops. Let's just say we really want to test our limits. Start working despite the lack of clarity. And then we get kidnapped at lunch, right? Nice! We did well today. <laughs> He's proud of us. He's... Spoilers. Aether kisses Risley at the end of the quest. Oh, oh my gosh. Chat. Like mods. Chatted. Mods. Who knew that processing these widgets would be so tiring? Uh-oh. Is he the one who snitches on us? Oh, that's it. Paimon doesn't even have the energy to talk anymore. Is it time to eat yet? Lunchtime, Paimon. Time to get kidnapped. <laughs> Paimon! Chat, so far we've been in prison for a week now. Oh, Paimon's exhausted. It's just work, work, and more work. Paimon... Wait oh, a sec. Paimon. Now that Paimon thinks about it, haven't we been working non-stop for three days now? Technically five. Now, now it's lunchtime. You're just realizing that now? Mm-hmm. Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. What's going to happen? Oh, do we get served, like, primordial but water? It doesn't seem like anything's changed at all. And we made it to the coupon cafeteria safely. I wonder if that's how but people disappear. Is rules only a rumor after all? Don't get your hopes up. Well... There's no use to just guessing all day. Paimon's stomach has been grumbling the whole time. Let's just eat already. I wonder if it's the water. Paimon wonders what it we'll is get so today. quiet. Maybe we'll get the super lucky meal. Wait. What? This is. What? What in the world is this? What's with Paimon's food? And yours is the same. Is this stuff meat? Looks and feels so bizarre. What kind of chef would make food like this? This looks like the mushrooms from the chasm, man. I've never seen a, a meal, well for a meal like this. There's something wrong with this what meat. What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that Rowan was talking about? Someone went missing before. Now our meals have this strange meat. No, stop right there. Paimon gets what you mean. Just don't say it. Hey, isn't that Wolsey over there? He must have made the food, right? So let's just ask him about the food and be done. Yo, let's freaking threaten him, man. Hey, Wolfie, have a moment? Hmm? What is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. Uh, it's about the meat in our meals. Look, does it seem normal to you? He's gonna say it looks fine. The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You better hurry up and shout out. Uh, how could... He knows! Ugh. What should we do now? 
the oh, plot the thickens. That's what I've been yeah. saying. Is he trying to hide something? The plot yeah. thickens. Looks like we have no other choice. Paima was positively famished a minute ago, but now we're she's rich. Lost her appetite. The strange meat. The strange welver meat received after violating the hen rules of the production zone. What would you like to do this afternoon? Investigate the clues we discovered. Yeah. Paimon felt like some of the people here were a little strange the moment she saw them. Oh my gosh, chat. This, the way this, the story progresses like this, it feels so good. Like the gameplay of it. Walk around and look for clues. Okay. Stage objectives. Hold to view. Oh, that's kind of cool. Find an opportunity to look around and collect clues. Hey, you like strange meat, bro? Fitzroy, what does this meat mean? Shove it in his face. Oh, he hello. You two are the ones who were with his grace. No need to be so nervous. Or we'll slap you with this meat. Sorry. I couldn't help but think of his grace once I saw you, and I... Uh... Are you scared of him? Well, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. You're not right, he does. I feel like I'm just some insignificant little bug. Oh, poor Fitzroy. Wait, seriously? Oh, well, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a reflex. I like his VA I a lot. I start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like his grace. I get it. You want to take his place. What? F please, don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. To the dormitories. To the dormitories. I don't think it's human meat, chat. My guess is that it's just meat that either makes you pass out or it's meat with the primordial water infused into it that makes Fontanians explode into water and die, basically. Oh, what the... Wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn reward coupons all the time, but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all. No, ma'am. Paimon likes having more coupons, but no one wants to work all the time. That's true. And now for this uh, phase of the investigation, we would like to ask you on a date, please. Have you also Lynette? been investigating the area, Lynette? People shy. No, I was just slacking off and you happened to catch me. And how's Lenny holding up? My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone. But knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. Huh? Credit coupons? Why are you giving us these? I've been here longer than you. Coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short Aww. supply are interesting people to talk with. Aw, that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Thanks a bunch! Yo, can I buy Primo Gems with these coupons? I'm okay foregoing my quest a little bit. Chat to, for some Primey Wimeys. You know what I mean? Can I get an amen? Huh? Rowan? Uh, what are you doing here, Chief? Oh, uh, I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major. I think I just pulled something. A little mishaps like this are unavoidable at work, you know? Someone as experienced as the chief would still get hurt on the job. Suspicious. I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Uh, where is Siegeween when you need her anyway? The one time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. Oh, you mean she wasn't in the infirmary? Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch. And nobody knows where Siegeween gets off to. Interesting. That this so this isn't just a coincidence. Huh. That's actually really strange. Sea Dream's always super dedicated to her work. Where else would she possibly go? To uh, make the meat it. out of the I prisoners! Can take care of a small spray <gasps> like this on my own anyway. No need to trouble her. Empty infirmary. I ride Wait, on wind I thought cloud oh, alike. Did I mess up? There's another one. I'm sorry. Wait, this is going to teleport me downstairs. Oh, well. We can... We can do this one. And then we'll go back up. 
you have to finish at your dormitory anyway. Extra spreads. You. You. What are you doing down here? Seedwing? Aren't you supposed to be in the infirmary? What are you doing in the production zone? Hello, traveler. Paimon? Everyone's usually busy around now, and we don't have any patients to look after in the infirmary. I thought I'd come here and enjoy the sight of everyone hard at work. Press X to doubt. Enjoy? Uh, what's there to enjoy here? Is that abyssal water? It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just so interesting and adorable. I like to watch your expressions while you work. Uh, it's interesting. Are you talking about pets or people? Do you also happen to be a veterinarian as well as a head nurse? Oh. You shouldn't jump to conclusions. That's fair. See, we Melazines are a different species, and we see the world very differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell which workers are exhausted. Dude, her, uh, that little heart thing is so cool. Why does she look like a human Melazine hybrid then? Wait, Melazines can see that? Huh. That does sound useful for being a nurse. Yes, running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain in the first place. Aww. Take care of your body. Make sure you eat well. Always rest when you're tired from work and don't push yourself too hard. Thanks. We'll definitely take care of ourselves. Otherwise, you'll end up as the meat. <laughs> Interesting. I got my eyes on you. I got oh objective. What's up, Deacon? Oh wait, this is our Deacon. Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon. So now you remember our names. <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? I won't trip on the same step twice. Oh. Listen, I feel ashamed about last time. Thank you for praising me in front of His Grace. Here are the extra credit coupons he gave me. I'd like you to have them. Yo, let's go. Huh? No, we couldn't take them. They're your reward, after all. It paid out. But when I was welcoming you, I didn't do anything but give you the stink eye. <sighs> Come on, I insist. Oh. These coupons are nothing compared to getting the attention of His Grace. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Let's go, Deacon. That's a W interaction right there. I love how that paid out from the beginning, chat. That is so cool. Is this the right teleport waypoint? No, I think it's that one. I think. Which floor is it? Yeah. Gotta walk around. <gasps> Don't fall. Shortcut. Goshen, huh? I have the power of God and anime on my side. Detective Jun Yoon is on the case, brothers. It's so crazy that you can just switch to Nouvellet and fly around. And, and levitate around. A research notebook. What is that suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now? Are they a fan of Sea Dream? He must have dropped this. Let Paimon read it real quick. The Melazine perceive the world very differently from humans. This we know. There are significant deviations. As a result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. This must be taken into consideration when giving gifts. Is this Nouvellet's book? Whoa. This all sounds pretty serious. He sure did his homework. Won't he object to us looking through his notes? We should thank him for the intel. And as for the notebook, let's take it. Or we just steal it. We should about the characteristics of Melazines. And once again, we're solving a detective case. Oh. Into the infirmary we go or not. Where is it taking us? Oh. Chat, I have a boo-boo in my heart. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> this is not the infirmary. This is our bedroom. You want to stop investigating and go rest? Yeah, we should be kidnapped tonight, right? I'll 
okay. You should rest up. We'll be back at it tomorrow. Here we go. So after working a few days straight, we got some strange Maybe we can get lunch. What was that all about? Maybe we can get the Melzine to check it out. Sigling. Has investigation turned up anything useful recently? I think I've got something. But unfortunately, it's not related to child. Really? Uh-oh. Then it looks like that part of the investigation has hit a dead end. Well, we'll keep searching for more clues tomorrow. Good night, traveler. It's vision time. Nouvelle's Bizarre Adventure. Or not. Good morning, oh, USA. We have so much money. It feels like we're getting used to life as convicts. Uh, <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know, actually. But what I'm on... do you have planned for us? Choose to go to the Pinkerton Ring in the afternoon and gather information? Okay. Let's spin some coupon to skip work. I don't think there are more clues to be found there. Yo, let's go, boys! We're cutting out our work. After working here so long, we're really starting to get... But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Let's see if there's any really easy work. Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a Sip while. Sip some pina coladas or pina prisoners. <laughs> I don't know how to... Colada prisoners or prisoners. <laughs> You apply with Granville to do some simple processing tasks and get some credit coupons without breaking a sweat. You finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. Still in jail. Prison day. Investigate the meat. Let's go to the Pinkerton Ring. Maybe we'll Why do I have to, to pay for this? There. Wait, what? I just lost six hundred dollars. Oh, for in it's a fast pass chat, fast oh, travel. Back for another try. I hope you brought enough credit coupons this time. Of course. All right, then get ready to play. Oh, here we go. Level up time. Complete the challenge. Okay, do your best to hit the target. One, two, three. Ooh, ha! Master of memory, the Jonathan. Chat, what was the order? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Yatta! Benny, you got this. Yo, this is too easy. Give me another challenge, bro. I'm prepping for the big fight. Me versus your mom. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that, chat. This your is going to be the Subzero really Festival? Be now I get why you're prohibited from participating in any official fights. Thanks, Dad. Nobody who values their life would be willing to get in the ring with you. You flatter me. Can't know for sure if you don't let me have a go. However, you two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a Pancration match yet, have you? <gasps> More gambling! Just go talk to Rusama. <laughs> Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. Ain't no way. Pay out if the fighter you support comes out on top. We can ask him. How can we possibly know who to support? That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. It won't be long before you can pick winners in your sleep. He's got a point. Why don't we give it a try? If we have enough coupons, we could probably bet at random until we figure everything out. Huh. Bet at random, huh? Uh, well, how should I put it? Uh, it's not like you can't do that, but I'd advise oh, you to give it some unwritten more rule? thought first. Huh? We shouldn't get too carried away. What's the problem? Could it be that there's some sort of rule here? What? I never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules? You're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive, too. The hidden rules, that's what they're called, right? Uh, might as well tell you about it, since you already know that. So we're just trying much. to trigger every well, landmine. I think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Thanks, Dad. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. Why am I calling Collins, Dad? Uh, is it that serious? Is he Phil Collins? Okay. The hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers tickets and support them both, something bad will happen the next morning. Oh, let's go. Easy. So the rule is that 
we shouldn't pick both boxers in the same fight. Time to break but if the rule. If actually did that, wouldn't they be guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that anyway? And what do you mean by something bad will happen? More meat. How would I know? Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. But I've heard a Don't story worry. about the rule. Don't worry, I am Collins. According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. None of his opponents even stood child. a chance against him. Is that child? However, in the final match, the organizers told him to take off his mask. He refused and never showed up to the fight. And after that, he was never seen again. <gasps> Some say he died or that he was taken care of by the event It's Zhao. But everyone remembers that he was someone who cherished honor above all else. In his eyes, supporting both boxers in a match would dishonor the competition itself. So you mean, it's like a curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone vengeance. who Vengeance. Do you know anything about him? Have you seen what he really looks like? No, he was always wearing a mask, like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. I don't even know anything about his past. Traveler, do you think that boxer was... Thank you very much. We'll give it a try. Huh? We will? Time to spring the trap again, sure boys. serious, are you? Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to break it on purpose. Poor Collins is actually being so nice to us right now. We're like, okay, we're going to yeah, die now. It sounds pretty scary to Paimon. I forgot to hydro align my traveler. It sounds like a good lead to me. Made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon, okay? I guess the betting on the, both fighters will set you back about three thousand credit coupons. Nah. If you have enough, then go ahead and give it a try. Just don't please come tell me we have enough. If something happens, please tell me skipping work didn't cause me not to have enough. Please tell me we have enough money. Ah, we woke up so early today that Paimon's <laughs> been nodding off all afternoon good thing it's finally time for bed oh that is so cute oh paimon doesn't want to get up paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday we got enough boys what do you have planned for us we got the credits we're good to go that would stink if we didn't have enough Let's spend some coupons to skip work. Wait, hopefully we have enough. Hopefully that doesn't put us After below so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. what we need. But doing the same thing Man, we're just slacking yeah. off now. Good to kick we work so hard, chat. We're fine. Without breaking a sweat. You finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. Why do I hear a chest every time we spawn here? What is this garbage? Ooh, it looks disgusting. Oh, Paimon misses your cooking now. What the heck? That's a low bar. What would you like to do this after? We're going to the pits. Sure. Minus 3,000 okay. coupons. Chant. It's time to spring the trap, boys. Here we go. Prison where Paimon belongs? Oh, mm. sheesh. Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another match is about to start. Okay. Who are the boxers in the next round? We have the reigning champ, Le Grappler, versus a contender from the eastern prison block, Demon Horde. Dang. Are those, those are sick names. names. Or did they choose those names themselves? Uh, since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little suggestion. Even though Le Grappler is the crowd favorite, Demon Horde is a first-class dark horse with incredible potential. I would bet on anyway, just him if I wasn't match, here for... I recommend that you pick... We'll buy tickets for both fighters. Huh? For, uh, for both fighters? Uh, I could tell you're new to this, but I didn't think you were completely clueless. Maybe you don't quite understand the rules, no? Let me try to explain again for you more clearly. I'm sorry, Russimov. See. I like his VA. Oh! We're going to lose coupons. All right, then, if you're absolutely sure. Remember, no refunds once you buy the tickets. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Just shut up and take our coupons. Dane, Paimon, prison's changed you. Sheesh. Here we go, chat. Time to get 
kidnapped. Time to get kidnapped. Seems we had a productive day. Hope we can Here we go. Showtime. Hey, traveler. Bye, on. Package here for you. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm not a delivery man, you know. What did we buy? Huh? A package? Is it gonna be Bus? Fanta? Did you buy something, Traveler? <laughs> Amazon Prime, baby! I'm not quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? I didn't buy anything unless this is. Alright! Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxers. Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin said would happen. We're going to get sucked into it. Is it going to be the Twilight series? Uh, Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe you let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you opened it. Lol. Hey, wait, wait! Paimon's still here! Don't open it! Ah! <laughs> Doesn't seem especially scary, but there's something a little odd inside. Huh? What is it? Are you okay? Uh, let Paimon take a peek, too. That's got to be a vial of primor oh, primordial water, maybe? It's just a small bottle. But the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Almost like... Rumor has it the boxer went missing and the liquid in the bottle obviously looks like blood? What? Alright, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. Do you want to give it a sniff? Do you want to give it a taste? <laughs> Seems we'll have to investigate. This place is chock full of strange happenings after uh, all. Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon open on this one, it. okay? Open it. Okay, so we go to the doctor and investigate the materials we've been getting. What do you have planned for us? Investigate the clues you discovered. Though it feels nice to slack off a little. Less work means less... Yeah, we haven't gone to work for three days. We're going to get fired. Adventure time. Walk around and look for clues. I'm on it, Chief. Obey. I like how Nuvalet is still on my team, even though he's level 40. Detective Shinha is here to do her duty. Hero's duty. Skirt, skirt. What do you have to say for yourself, promoter? Uh, if there's no way to send it all out, maybe I'll never get a chance to leave. Uh you we've never seen you before send it and all you out look like a fellow convict uh, I, i'm not of course i'm not please don't mistake me for a criminal i'm a good law abiding citizen oh what a nerd hey everybody beat this guy up <laughs> then what are you doing here you <laughs> sure seem anxious about something i'm a promoter for fontico and i'm usually responsible for promoting our drink products I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters. Oh, a promoter from Fontico. So what kind of problem did you run into? Not the not the promoting Coca-Cola in prison. Ugh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that dude. After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, he told me outright that my project was worthless. However, in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still tried to patiently explain the details. However, to my surprise, he just cut me off while I was speaking. <clears throat> Let me take a moment and recall his exact words. I'm just gonna stop you there and say no. If anything, I'm saving you time. It seems you don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, nor do you understand the value of your own products. The former is because you are from the overworld. That's understandable, <laughs> and I don't blame you for that. But as for the latter, only someone monumentally stupid, so breathtakingly stupid, what the heck? completely ignorant of the value of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Let's just forget it. Dang! Yo, Risley does not like Fanta. <sighs> anyway... That's how he rejected my proposal and asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? Uh, well, he is the head honcho here. Not much you can do about that. True. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Fine, fine. I know 
I should just let it go. I'm on his turf after all. His house, his rules. What does this have to do with everything? Dissatisfaction with the Duke. Interesting. All right, is that the working quarters? It appears so. Wait, what? Huh? Is that not the working quarters? Is that the fighter's ring? Guess we'll walk on this one. Obey. Okay, so obviously, don't worry, chat. I cracked it. I cracked the code. So Fanta Inc. is trying to turn everyone down here into vampires so they can overthrow the Fontaine government. And instead of have Fontaine be the nation of Hydro, it will be the nation of Fanta. And the and the rivers will flow Fanta. And the fountains will be Fanta. We'll bathe in Fanta. We'll kiss our Fantas. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> I, I, I heard you crazy fools really did it. And we're still you alive. You tickets to support both fighters, didn't you? Well, I... Did anything happen? I want to tell Collins because I feel like it'd get him hurt well, potentially. The next day we received a mysterious package, but we still haven't made any sense of the content. So it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, did you? Domain expansion. Are you both still okay? Wait. Are you sure that it's still <laughs> you controlling your bodies right now? Uh, Paimon's not sure. What do you think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? Only you'd ever ask such a question, so I'm pretty sure you're fine. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, you two don't seem to have changed at all. Do we get to do the puzzle but again? Still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. You could actually throw away coupons like that just to satisfy your curiosity? Yes, sir. Even if we bought tickets like everybody else, it's not like we could hope to earn any coupon. When it comes to things like this, it's always the organizer who makes the real profit. Hey, just what are you trying to imply? <laughs> The Pancration Ring Yo, is Collins has been business, good to us. And we really don't make much from selling tickets. We make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of Fanta. <gasps> oh, so it's the company that manufactures Fanta but I tell you, chap, the events? I was right. I would thought all of this was thanks to the Duke's support. Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. They reached out to us first, hoping to promote Fanta products in the forges of Meropede. I understand. Uh, Done capitalism. Anyway. You try and take extra good care of yourselves these next few days, you hear? <laughs> the Fanta angle really kind of came out of nowhere, you know what I mean, chat? Look around for clues. Is Child just under here? Hey, what are these papers scattered all over the ground? Are they registration forms or something? Hmm, maybe not. Every page has the Fanta code Let's symbol. take a look before anyone else shows up. Uh, okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? What are you afraid of? We're already convicted criminals. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have a look here. True. Without assistance from the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow. And some researchers on the project have voiced concern. We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. They released a giga font fonta of hell. We have decided to only conduct closed small scale trials do they for do the it, time being. Do they do it on prisoners? It sure doesn't seem like anything oh, unusual. Oh shoot. Trying to develop some new products besides Fanta, but it sounds like things aren't going well at all. Uh, let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look like nobody went through them. Okay. Are yeah. they nabbing prisoners for testing? I thought he was yelling at me for a second. I was like, oh. I'll show you what I got, brother. Cryo icicle to your face. So, tips to anyone uh, following along at home. Unlock the map first. <laughs> or maybe not. We ended up here without even thinking about it. Want to grab something to eat? I definitely thought about it. I followed the trail here. The yellow dot All of right. fate. But remember that we bought this time with coupons, so let's make better use of it next time. Whoa. Garbage. Ooh, it looks disgusting. Oh, Paimon misses your cooking now. What the heck? What would you like to do this afternoon? 
Let's go to the production zone. Let's go to the... Wait, what? Let's go investigate? What will progress us? I don't know. I guess we need After some more coupons. What have we been in here for like a year and we didn't know it? You apply with Greenville to do some of the simpler tasks. Get some coupons. A mysterious box, a bottle of crimson liquid. Oh, we need to talk to Risley. Still doesn't know what to make of it. Do you have any ideas, Traveler? I think I've got something. Really? Huh. Then it looks like that part of the investigation let us. Well, maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. Wait, was the same options too? Stage objectives complete. Okay, so we've investigated two we of the hidden rules. We're go we're breaking uh, out, boys. I didn't think this prison would have so many weird things going on. Is it time to be a detective? Paimon, put on your glasses Let's and your mustache. With our investigation, otherwise we'll never get anywhere. Let's spin our coupons. We keep spinning yeah. them. Let's skip work for now and put. <laughs> it was last time we've been to work, but I can't even remember, man. It's been ages. Scrit, scrit. Hey, isn't that V-Dog over there? There's a V-Dog. Huh. Oh. Is it just Paimon or are there fewer people than usual here today? Did they get taken to the secret zone? Oh, here uh, we go. Progression time. Seeing you at this time must mean you've already saved up a lot of credit coupons. Or at least enough to skip work. My goal is to become the next Duke. Seems you're getting into the swing of things around here. We're getting by. Impressive. Very impressive. Thank you, sir. So, now can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? And how to grow your fantabulous mustache. Mm. If that's what you want to know, I guess you couldn't have come at a better time. Huh? What do you mean it's a good time? Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production zone. I wouldn't want them listening in without paying up. We get it! Just so it mysterious! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Even if you manage to avoid the guards, you might find something even more terrible there. Like what? Something even more terrible? Like what? That's what I- am I Paimon? A group of cannibals. What? Cannibals? In the fortress of Meripede? Every month, they meet a few times in the dead of night. Rumor has it they might be connected to the people that have disappeared here. This got dark real fast. What's even scarier is that they have a special proclivity. Since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. Uh, Paimon might already know what you mean by other Wait, forms. Wait, so the human meat so and then blood? Or... Oh, Is that really true? Does it feel so There's good. still a chance that we saw isn't connected to cannibals. <laughs> you two look pretty skeptical. No matter. Learning the truth behind dark secrets isn't necessarily a good thing. That Dang, this is. To do too. I suggest you just act like I never told you anything. Nah, now we gotta wake up in the middle of the night and go meet a bunch of cannibals. Traveler, can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Paimon doesn't want her blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity. Dane! Even if it's true. Oh, so that's how you see the situation. Huh. You know, Paimon does feel a little better about it now. Let's get ready to investigate another hidden rule. Wait, let's just wake up in the middle of the night. When will all the secrets end? The fortress of Meribide has lots of secrets. Return and investigate again? Vidok isn't here. But the guys who went to work in the morning are back. Let's go ask them. What are you talking about? Listen, you should keep your nose out of other people's business. Okay. Rude. What? What are you saying? You shouldn't go around saying stuff like that. 
Oh, we're asking for confirmation? Just stay away from me. Are you guys the cannibals? Hmm. Their attitude sure is suspicious. We have to show them. Like trying to avoid us. We have to show them that we're one of them. So we have to take a bite out of one of them. Just grab a thigh. <laughs> it's pretty obvious they're hiding something. But if they're being so obvious about acting weirdly, do you think they might just be trying to lure us in? Oh, Paimon being giga brain oh, right this now. This is all getting way too creepy for Paimon. Let's approach it from a different angle. We'll probably never get anything out of these guys. So you mean we still need to investigate some more? Okay, if you say so. Yo, where's for Monet? That's my question. Upstairs we go, upstairs we go. Skirt, skirt. Manifest. Ask the guard of the detorminaries? The dormitories. Yo, I should have Yelon on my team, to be honest. All this running around. Hello, Fielding. What do you want? Criminals like you ought to be working right now. Catch my drift. Hey, I'll criminal your butt cheeks if you don't answer my questions, buddy. We just want to ask you a simple question. Have you ever discovered anything odd during your nighttime patrols? Why are you asking about something like that? Whatever happens at night isn't your concern. All you need to worry about is getting enough sleep. Uh, well... You see, sometimes we hear strange noises at night. Right! We've heard it happens a few times every month. Paimon has sensitive ears, so it makes it hard to sleep. Really? I see. Uh, but it's not like I'm on duty every night. And now that you mention it, I recall my colleagues talking about something like that before. They say that strange things tend to happen at night on pipe cleaning days. Lots of us don't willingly take those shifts. So, what happens at night on pipe cleaning days? And they just conduct regular cleaning of the fortress's drainage facilities. Interesting. The plumbing. We gotta swim through the poop pipes, chat, to find the truth. There are three pipes just like in Shawshank Redemption. And it just so happens that today is one of the scheduled days. You can try to confirm the sounds tonight if you want. And if they're real, then I can report the issue to my superiors for you. Thank you, Fielding. Oh, okay. Then we'll keep both ears out tonight. Now, if that's all, then I'll be leaving now. I advise you not to try anything funny, though. Even if I'm not on duty tonight, someone will still be watching you. I was gonna make some jokes, don't man. Don't worry, we don't want any time added to our sentences. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he left. So what do you think about the pipe cleaning days he mentioned? Those might be the days when the cannibals are active. I cannot believe they actually went with literal cannibals. This is so, like, dark. All right, both are a possibility. But Fielding did say that tonight is a cleaning night. No reason not to find the truth out ourselves. I knew you would say that. All right, sounds like we'll be up all night tonight then. I just hopes the guards don't catch us. Oh, stealth mission? I mean, there's Adeline to be honest. Adeline isn't a cannibal. They just think she is because she cleans up Deluke's messes because she's Alfred. You know who is a cannibal? Shun Lin. One of her voice lines says, I'm gonna sleep yet. I'm gonna eat you or something tonight, like that. So it's the perfect chance for us to investigate. We just need to wait until everyone else has fallen asleep. If we miss this chance tonight, we'll it'll be a while before we get another opportunity. <sighs> Whatever. Just be sure to wake Paimon if she dozes, huh? Traveler, did you fall asleep already? Oh shoot, vision time, boys. We are child. Child's running? He's trying to break out? Did Child get caught by the cannibals? Was Child the Fanta? Oh, he's being a little sneaky boy. Mr. Sly Cooper over here. Shout out to the five people who know that reference. If you're watching on YouTube and you got that reference, say nice, comment nice Sly Cooper reference. <laughs> Just to make me feel better. What is this? Oh, the meetup. Child's a cannibal, I knew it. No, they're not cannibals, it's something else. 
Something is calling me. I have to go. Wait, there's grass? Yo, that doesn't look structurally sound. Someone call OSHA. Wait, please tell me this is a stealth mission. I saw child in my dream again. Oh, it looks like you were just peacefully sleeping, the Paimon. Well, what did you see this time? Investigating the pipes tonight is the right call. Child escapes by the pipes. Really? So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened. But what about the cannibals? How do you explain them? I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, well, it's a bad time for us to get moving. Just be careful to avoid the patrolling guards. Is this a stealth mission? Is it going to give us the, the all stealth music? Oh. Should I throw Yelan on my team, chat? Okay, showtime. Go to where the rumored pipes are. We have to avoid the guards. Can I just go behind? Careful. We'll get in trouble if the guards catch us. Dude, we gotta, we gotta bust out the true Mission Impossible girly. It's not you, Duvalet. I'm sorry, brother. Our target dun, 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 dun. Uh -oh. Okay, listen, first off, I was invisible. Second off, you were staring that way, man. By the rules of video gaming, I should be fine. Go to where the rumored pipes might be. Can we just, hold up, let's just do this. Sneaky, sneaky, no! Are you kidding me? You can't be serious. Okay. <clears throat> listen, listen. How was I supposed to know? Give me up there. Secret agent man. Okay. Did I go too far? Huh? Go to where the rumored pipe... Am I dumb? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, the coast is clear-ish. Kind of? Don't reset me. Don't reset me. Please, please, please. We did it, boys. Easy clap. First try. Wait. Did just re- I was going the right way! Do I have to stay on the path? Careful! We'll get in trouble if the guards catch us! Do I just have to go on the path? Oh my gosh. I wanna talk about what just happened. Listen, I was trying to get creative with it. I was having a fun time. Take it, easy. it was a good little it jaunt. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's a frog. We can keep a prison pet. What? I know you. You were the ones we saw. Huh. You've got guts showing up here. You know who we are, right? The cannibal, the cannibals. What's that's their stage name? What if they're, they sing? You'd better leave now. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. Enough of the theatrics. what you say? All those rumors about Campbell's and him rules were started by you, weren't they? Yeah, so what if they were? If you push us, we can make those rumors a reality at any time. Hey, what's the point of all those rumors anyway? What exactly are you trying to do? I don't have to tell you anything. If you turn around, go back to the dormitories and act like you never saw anything, then I'll pretend that you never showed up here. This is where I would love if Traveler had the option to threaten them. You know what I mean, chat? Yeah, scram. Nothing worth seeing here. There's something calling me. I have to go. Huh? What did you say? Isn't that exactly what boss said when he left? They're Fatui! Hey, do you know our boss? Yes, Child Tartaglia. One of the Shneznaya's... Oh, we had no idea our boss was such a big deal. He always kept his identity a secret. So, did he have you come here to find us? Oh, so your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. I'm a friend of his. We're the only ones who heard him say those words when he left that night. 
So unless he somehow told you those exact same words after that, hmm. All right, I guess that's proof enough for me. I believe you. Wow, those dreams of yours sure come in handy. Oh, quiet, man. We gave him the business for a while and would always give him a hard time when he first came to the Fortress of Maripede. But here in the Fortress, strong will always earn respect. He was working the longest hours and racking up wins in the pancreation. He could always see how amazing he was, even when he was teaching us a lesson. So eventually, we all decided to follow him. Oh. But one day, he suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, no matter the cost. He said it was because he heard that call again. The and abyss call crew, thing. The boss wants something, and it's our job to get it done. Dang. So, we got to work and use the hidden rules that were here to make up and spread the rumor about the cannibal rule. That's actually smart so that so people just think we child's just dead. To give him a better chance of escaping on a night after the pipes had been cleaned. Oh, thanks to your rumor, nobody would want to come anywhere near here, prisoner or guard. Wow, it sure is easy to that's exploit pretty... people's fear of the unknown. Wow, that's very deep line. But has a child already escaped? Why are you all still coming here after pipe cleaning day? Because as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually an exit. It should be a dead end. Did he drown? It leads to an abandoned factory. Oh, we gotta get for a Even if there were a way to escape from there into the sea, we're still way too deep. No one could ever reach the surface alive. But boss still insisted on going in. It's like he was obsessed about it. So we told he heard him the voice. that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone. And that if he wanted to come back, he should wait for nighttime on a pipe cleaning day. That way, we could meet him here the and help cover the factory. whole thing. So you come and wait here through the night a few times a month just because of that promise? They're loyal. Yeah, but it's been so long now. We already know in our hearts lizard. that we must have managed to escape. Yo, that lizard somehow. got dumpy. I'm sorry. I'm so uh, sorry. I'm teasing. Is it also possible that something unfortunate happened? Nothing could ever defeat Boss or slow him down. It's one thing we know for sure. Aww. Okay, okay. Paimon was just brainstorming possibilities. Can you take us there? All right. Keep quiet and follow us. Here we go, boys. Okay, we got to pull out our OG crew. Kazuha! Kaidahara! Kazuha! I choose you! Want me to come along? Yes. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Time to go save child. Our child. My son! The way up from here has been sealed off. It's impossible to get through. Boss left by going down from here. It uh, wasn't full of water at the time. Later, we came back hoping to have a look. That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. Frimene! Do you think Child got trapped by the water? Is that where Frimene comes into play? We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. I know a good diver. Oh, really? Then have him come investigate. Pronto. Just be sure to tell us if you get any news about Boss. It's getting Aww. late. We should leave before the gun. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. Let's get going. Can Frimine take us with him? Sleep time. Good night, Chad. <sighs> we finally learned some key information. Seems hard our investigative work has finally started to pay off. For this Arco quest, Traveler gets a 9 to 5 in prison. When you said you knew a diver, you were talking about Frimine, right? If we ask Linny, he'll definitely have Frimine help us. <sighs> we haven't seen him yet, like though. This? What was he doing? Why is Chad like this? Not making our jobs easier, that's for sure. Oh, I love Paimon. Unfortunately, though, it seems like it's only a matter of time now before we find out what really happened. Now that we can finally relax, Paimon's starting to feel super sleepy. Oh. Oh, let's try to get... Good night. Uh, it's morning already. Did that part just end? More sleep. Let's use some coupons to skip our ship this morning. Let's take the morning off. Huh? Wait, look over there. Isn't that Was that was that it for the the Arkham Quest? It's one of Lenny's cards. Is this the next part? You're right. It's been a while since we contacted him. Let Paimon see what's written on it. Maybe you haven't heard. But today is the monthly free day. 
It's been a while since we last talked. Have you been making any progress lately? Let's meet at our usual spot Dang. in the factory area before lunchtime. I have new information. Ooh, today's our lucky day. We have the day off. From the sound of it, Lenny has been making progress with his investigation. Wonder what he's discovered. Dude, the music here is so good. We still have some time before we meet up. Let's talk with the people here for a bit more before we go. Act four started. Cataclysm quickening. There it is. All right. That is it for act three. That was stinking awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what your favorite part was. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>